Extension Forage Specialist in the Department of Animal and Range Sciences at Montana State University in Bozeman. Professor, you're an expert in forage real world settings. Being an extension specialist provides ample opportunity to interact with the people of Montana and to hear firsthand about their forage production needs. My collaborative program is geared towards addressing those needs and getting the information out to those who need it. What are some of the success stories of your students and what kind of careers are they pursuing? So my students enter all types of jobs from the family ranch to natural resource agencies. The success stories are reflected by the students in forage classes and their broad set of interests across animal science, agribusiness, education, crop science, natural resource ecology, and wildlife management. This tells me that my class has a very diverse set of interests across Montana. I'm Hayes Goosey, Assistant Professor and Extension Forage Specialist in the Department of Animal and Range Sciences at Montana State University. Go Bobcats! Now we appreciate Professor Goosey joining us today. All right, we're going to take a quick break, but uh, when we get back, we'll have a chance to uh, chat with Dan Davies, our sideline analyst. Later, we'll talk with Brian Shepard, the cornerbacks coach, and then we'll discuss things with head coach Brent Vegan as we get set for a big-time FCS matchup today. Montana State and South Dakota State, the number three and number one teams in the nation, coming up at the top of the hour. More of the pregame show coming up after this timeout. You're listening to Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. Are you too hot? Are you too cold? Did you know that you don't have to just deal with it? We at Ambient Air Solutions understand how important comfort plays on your emotions, health, and quality of life on a daily basis. Ambient Air Solutions offers 24-7 emergency service for residential and commercial clients. We also offer financing to help ease the financial stress and burden of a lifelong investment. Call Ambient Air Solutions at 406-577-1818 and leave it to the professionals. Ambient Air Solutions, simplifying heating and cooling. At Montana State University, students shape signature experiences that take them across the state and into local communities. MSU is dedicated to its land-grant mission, integrating transformational learning, discovery, and service that improves lives. You'll find our students teaching across Montana, conducting research in the heart of Yellowstone National Park, or even creating small shelter prototypes to address homelessness. Montana State University. Think outside. The Rocking R Bar is your home for everything Bobcat football. Whether the cats are home or away, we are your game day headquarters. Swing by for great food specials like the Sunny Holland Burger from our new grill, Hail Mary's. We also serve the best Montana craft beer and liquor the state has to offer. So grab a pint, something to eat, and one of our very own Rocking R Bar liquors because it's a great time to be a Bobcat at the Rocking R Bar. From ATVs to heavy RVs, the 2023 Chevy Silverado provides everything you need for a long day of towing. With proven technologies like trailer sway control, hill start assist, and auto grade braking. You'll also get the capability to work smarter, not harder, with the available multi-flex tailgate. Offering six different functions to help improve loading, unloading, and accessing the cargo bed. Check out the legendary Silverado at your Montana Chevy dealers. Proud sponsors of your Montana State Bobcats. Town & Country Foods is a proud supporter of Bobcat Athletics. As a locally owned company, we believe the benefit of buying local helps support the local economies in southwest Montana. Our stores offer great selections of items you need every day, including organic, specialty foods, fresh meats and produce, along with incredible selections from our bakery and deli departments. Town & Country Foods is 100% employee owned and serves southwest Montana with eight locations. Visit your local Town & Country Foods today. Go Cats! The Gallatin Valley is thriving, and Bozeman is not only a destination for families to live, work, and play, it's also a destination for businesses. The Bozeman Area Chamber of Commerce is a great way to get involved in Bozeman's thriving business community. The Bozeman Chamber Economic Partnership assists existing businesses through expansion, grows new companies in our community, and attracts fresh opportunities for Gallatin County. Bozeman, our community, a jewel among the Northern Rockies. For more information, go to bozemanchamber.com. Back of the pregame show, getting set for a marquee week two matchup. It's Montana State and South Dakota State. I'm Keaton Galugli, joined now by Dan Davies as we get set for our kickoff at the top of the hour. And Dan, here we go. Montana State number three, South Dakota State number one in the nation, a rematch of the semifinals from each of the last two years. 
Put into context just how big of a non-conference regular season game we're about to witness today. Well, I, I would say this is the, the premier game of FCS football, not only this weekend, but probably in the first half of the season. It's, it's an amazing matchup how this game came to be. It was scheduled several years ago, but as you said, you know, semifinal game last year right here in Brookings, South Dakota, and here we are again. But uh, I, I can't think of a bigger matchup this early in the season for many, many years. And when you think about this kind of like budding rivalry too for Montana State and South Dakota State, what do you see as some of the, the highlights of it just on how it's grown now over the last like five or six years? Yeah, it's kind of a rivalry that just kind of evolved as uh, the scheduling over the last few years has, has come about as well as the playoff situation. And of course, Montana State was, was a semifinal winner a couple of years ago in Bozeman. And then the, the game here last in Brookings was not, didn't go the Bobcats way for sure, but um, these two classy football teams, and uh, it's, a, it's a healthy rivalry, so to speak, at this point. Yeah, healthy and classy. That's a good way to describe it. All right, well, let's get into the matchup we're about to see on the field today. Uh, go to our Kendall Ford keys to the game. What are some of the keys you're looking for in this contest tonight? Both of these teams are so good in the turnover game. They do not give the ball up very, very often, and I, I think that's going to be a huge key. Um, both offenses are efficient. Both offenses want to run the football. And uh, I think it's kind of whoever's going to hold court and, you know, be able to take care of the football the, the, throughout the whole football game is going to have a great chance to win. All right. Well, here we go. You excited? Yeah, I just can't wait. It's, uh, it's been building here for, what, nine months. And uh, I know the chips are on everybody's shoulder. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll see how it all plays out. Dan, we'll talk to you again right before kickoff. Here we go. Week two coming up, Montana State and South Dakota State. All right. After this timeout, we're going to talk with quarterbacks coach Brian Shepard. Later, we'll visit with head coach Frank Vegan as we get set for the kickoff coming up at uh, 5 o'clock Mountain Time. This is Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. Banking doesn't stop because the weekend comes around or the sunset paints our big sky. We know you work hard for your money and need access to it 24-7, 365, wherever you are. Stockman Bank's online and mobile banking lets you live every single moment of your day with confidence to stay in touch with your money via smartphone, tablet, or desktop computer. See the difference banking with Stockman Bank makes for you. Stockman Bank, Montana's brand of banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Are you looking for a rewarding career right here in Montana? Applied Materials is located in Kalispell, Montana, and is hiring for engineering and manufacturing roles. The leader in materials engineering solutions used to produce virtually every new chip and advanced display in the world. Applied Materials offers top-notch wages and full benefits on day one. Go to AppliedMaterials.com slash careers and search for the jobs by location to find your next career with Applied Materials. Our innovations make possible a better future. Equal opportunity employer. Whoever said, good things come to those who wait, clearly never ordered in the McDonald's app. Just order ahead in the app, and you can pick up when you get here. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Now football fans can score big, because on game day, get a 20-piece Chicken McNuggets for just $5 when you order ahead on the app. Now that's a W. Valid once per day through December 1st, 2023. I participate in McDonald's, must opt into rewards. Montana holds some of the greatest hunting in the country, and much of that occurs on private land. Access to private land is a key part of hunting and wildlife management, but that access is at risk with every gate left open, piece of litter left behind, or torn up ag field from someone driving where they weren't allowed. As hunters and guests in Montana, we must do better. Get familiar with Montana's block management program and follow the rules for every block management area you hunt, because we either do better or we'll lose access. It's that simple. It's up to us. Respect access. Protect the hunt. Nicely done, Beef. When football fans everywhere cheer for their team, they're cheering for you too. Because your savory snacks fuel the gridiron battle. With your tasty sliders, hearty chilies, and drool-worthy steaks, every option is an MVP. Most valuable protein. So gather around the TV and get cooking at beefitswhatsfordinner.com. Funded by Beef Farmers and Ranchers.
Rooted in Montana, we're not just another logistics company. We're the experts across the United States and Canada for expediting your containerized cargo. Offering a variety of services such as drayage, transloading, and expedited trucking, our team thrives on a culture of efficiency powered by top-tier customer service. We're continuously innovating with the latest tech to simplify your logistics process and save you precious time. Find out more at portxlogistics.com. Evolutionary technology, unreal service. Join the revolution with Port X Logistics. At for Montana State and South Dakota State. I'm Keaton Gologley, joined now by quarterbacks coach Brian Shepard. Coach, how we doing? One game in the books. Uh, how you feeling now Now that we're kind of getting the season underway? Uh, I'm doing well. Thanks for having me today. All right, well, let's get into some stuff uh, with the secondary and the cornerbacks. First of all, just your impressions of how these uh, this group played in the first game against Utah Tech. Uh, the first game overall for the cornerbacks, uh, we did a solid job as far as eliminating explosive plays. That's a point of emphasis that we've had in the, the defensive back unit uh, all off season. So the guys, you know, they played hard. You know, there, there weren't guys uh, loafing around. But there were things that we need to fix up, you know, scheme-wise, making sure our techniques are right and that our eyes are in the correct places at all times. Uh, how do you feel about this room compared to last year? You know, I know it was fairly de- uh, shallow last year in the cornerback room. So how do you feel about your depth this season as the year continues on? As of right now, this year, we have more depth with the cornerbacks, with people who have ability to play and run and, and whatnot. Now, the, the, the negative is we don't have a lot of playing experience. So from only thing from this year from last year is we got more ability. Well, one of the guys who does have some playing experience is Simeon Woodard. Uh, what's he doing as a leader in this room, and, and how are you thinking his season's going to go? Yeah, Woodard's coming into his third year. You know, he didn't redshirt, and this is the year where I'm finally starting to see him uh, take over the leadership role and actually starting to say say things and in, in meetings and whatnot and correct our correct our guys. So he's been awesome for us. Uh, some of the other guys, some of the new names, uh, John Johnson, the, one of the transfers, he got into some uh, some playing time this week. Uh, what's John Johnson's outlook looking like? John Johnson's been good for us. He's been coming in and learning the playbook and you know getting situated with how how we do things here you know on and off the field but he's been great he's an athletic guy that can run not afraid to strike you so I'm, the the future is high for John Johnson and then uh, Miles Jackson another guy getting some good playing time what's Miles Jackson do well Mac, Miles Jackson what well, he does a really good job of of knowing the scheme so since he's played multiple positions in the secondary he knows what everyone's doing which allows him to play fast and I'm looking forward to Miles progressing as well True freshman Andrew Powdrell got into, got into his first collegiate game as well. Pretty special to be a true freshman out there that week one. What are you seeing from Powdrell? Powdrell is a special kid. I, I know we say Tommy Gunn, you know, Tommy Gunn, meaning QB number one, mm-hmm. is the fastest. But Powdrell ran a 10-4 in high school. He might be on his heels now. Powdrell can straight out fly, which is why he's having the opportunity to play early. You know, he can run, he can hit and whatnot. And he's made a transition from high school to college easy so far you know it's been an easy uh, smooth transition for him and he's a guy that I look forward to seeing continue to play throughout this year not on defense but also teams and making a big impact there so the future is bright for uh, Andrew if he keeps progressing and finally Devin Davis uh, you know a guy who's got some experience in the system as well and got into the game uh, in in week one what are Devin Davis's strengths Devin Davis did a good job of coming in and playing physical for us you know his presence with his with his size and length uh, it was actually finally good to to get him out there for an extended period of time. You know, this was like, in my opinion, this was his first game playing, you know, more than five snaps. So it was good to see him out there and, you know, rock, rust off some of the, knock off some of that rust. So it was good to see. We're talking with Brian Shepard, cornerback coach for Montana State. Well, going to need to see these guys play very well in this game against South Dakota State today. So obviously this is a tough matchup. They're bringing back those two Yankee twins, number one and number 10 on the outside. What do those Yankee twins do, and what do you guys have to do to be successful against them? I credit that offensive coordinator over there in Zach Lujan. He does a good job of putting those Yankee twins in multiple positions. Sometimes they'll line up as a receiver, then sometimes you'll see them in the backfield kicking someone out. Then there's also times where they'll line up as the tight end alone. So those guys, you know, they bring so much to that offense. And one of the things that we're going to be able to have to do to, to win is to be able to stop those explosive plays when they're, you know, lining up in multiple positions. Now, they're also a team that really uses their tight ends a lot. So what do you see from their creativity and how they try to get both their tight ends, even some of the guys listed as fullbacks and their wide receivers open for Mark Ronowski in the offense? 
Yeah, so like what they do is with the tight ends that you know, and the 12 and 21 personnel, you typically when you hear that, you think someone's getting up to line up and run the ball, which they do, and they do a really good job of doing so. But then now they'll also spread you out into a 10 personnel picture, and look like they're about to just sling the ball all over, and they're able to because their tight ends are so athletic. So they're able to do a multitude of things on offense, and I credit them to doing so many things and you know keeping us on our toes as a you know from a defensive perspective. Obviously, this is a massive game, one of the biggest games across the nation. Everybody understands the gravity of it, but how do you guys kind of keep it level-headed? How do you keep the consistency week in and week out? I mean, it's simple. It's something that you know he's been preaching. Coach Vegan's been preaching since we got here, and that is we take it day by day, and it's a it's a big game because it's the next game. So, you know, we never uh, overlook any opponents and we're just going to take it day by day and keep our head down and put the work in and keep stacking days. And then when it comes to game day, we'll go out there and play. I mean, it's easy to say that, but how hard is it to kind of contain the emotions uh, as you continue going forward? Well, when you have guys like a Rylan Ort and a Danny, uh, you know, around telling those guys to lock in and how they go about it, you know, on a day-to-day consistent basis, it's, it's easier for the young guys to see, oh, look, these guys are bringing their hard hat every single day and they're coming to work. That's what we do here at Montana State. So for overall, I would say that the team understands what's ahead of us, you know, with the experienced group. So, No doubt. Can't wait to see it out, how it all plays out. Montana State and South Dakota State coming up. Coach uh, Brian Shepard, cornerback coach. Appreciate the time and the insight. Appreciate you. Thanks for having me. All right, we'll take a break. When we get back, we'll have more of the pregame show as Montana State and South Dakota State get set to roll in week two. This is Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. At Firehouse Subs, a portion of every purchase helps provide much-needed life-saving equipment to first responders across the country. That's why at Firehouse Subs, they make their subs differently, because their subs can make a difference. Their family of restaurant owners and local crews are proud to continue to serve you the hot, hearty, life-saving subs you crave every day. In fact, it's never been easier to grab their subs to go with Rapid Rescue To Go. Save time when you order online at FirehouseSubs.com or on their app. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. Did you know that Southwest Montana has one of the highest per capita hot tub usage rates in the world? See what your friends and neighbors already know. How great it feels to soak under the big sky. Mountain Hot Tub has helped more friends and families relax in hot water than anyone in Montana. New hot tubs starting at less than $5,000. When you're ready to relieve stress and save money at the same time, come see us at the corner of Huffine and Goot Hill. Mountain Hot Tub, since 1979. Hi, former Bobcat, Lou Salcedo for Western Motors. Our team proudly supports MSU Bobcat football both on and off the field. I want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck for the season. Western Motors has spent the last 22 years serving Gallatin County and supporting over 40 local organizations. We have been recognized as the best in Bozeman and Gallatin's greatest several years running. As Montana's number one volume dealer, we are hired in all departments across eight of our dealerships. We have plenty of new and used inventory ready for purchase. Good luck, Bobcats. Western Motors, community born, community driven. It's the season of home improvement, and Williams Plumbing will help you tackle the big stuff. Are old roots clogging your sewer line? Williams has the tools to fix it. Have you checked your septic system lately? We have the knowledge and experience to maintain or repair it. Looking to install a yard hydrant? We'll do it promptly and professionally. Don't sweat the big stuff. Call Williams Plumbing today. Counting Country Foods is a proud supporter of Bobcat Athletics. As a locally owned company, we believe the benefit of buying local helps support the local economies in southwest Montana. Our stores offer great selections of items you need every day, including organic, specialty foods, fresh meats and produce, along with incredible selections from our bakery and deli departments. Counting Country Foods is 100% employee owned and serves southwest Montana with eight locations. Visit your local Counting Country Foods today. Go Cats! From our 1946 roots, providing lumber for Yellowstone National Park, to our current headquarters in Bozeman, we at Simpkins Hallen believe in building the Gallatin Valley's future while continuing to honor its past. Contractors large and small benefit from our decades of experience and our extensive network of suppliers. We can source the materials you need, no matter the project. For all your building needs, go to where longstanding traditions have met with quality building products for over 75 years. Simpkins Hallen, a Montana tradition among builders since 1946.
Back to the pregame show, getting set for Montana State and South Dakota State today. I'm Keaton Glogley, joined by head coach Brent Vegan. All right, coach, here we go. Big uh, big day is finally here. How's the team handled uh, everything mentally, just going through a, a week like this, a week of preparation with uh, so much on the line this weekend? Well, I think they're excited. It's it, This week is here. You know, uh, when we left the field back in December, uh, this was a game, obviously, uh, in the back of our minds, and it really was a driving force through the winter. Um, you know, our shortcomings that day, we needed to, to enhance, uh, you know, our ability to um, win that battle up front. And, you know, our guys worked real hard all summer, uh, the, the winter leading up, um, you know, and, and with all the games in mind, but certainly you know, the bad taste that was left in our mouth when we left Brookings last time. What gives you the confidence that that battle in the trenches is going to be different today than it was last year? Well, we're going to go after it, you know, uh, and I'm sure they have as well uh, as far as the work goes in the off season. But I, I do think we've uh, we've made strides, um, you know, and that, that's one day. You know, it didn't work out for us that day. Um, here's a new day, and that's that's the way you approach it. Uh, we can't change the outcome of that semifinal game, but we can we can do everything we can to to respond to the challenge that, that lies in front of us here. And, and you know, I believe in our guys. Um, our guys believe, believe in one another, um, you know, and, and I think our coaches have prepared them in the, in the right way. And, you know, it should uh, should be a great great, great matchup for us. And, and you know, it's it's going to come down to, you know, certainly that, that, that line of scrimmage battle. And, um, you know, I'm betting on our guys. The guys in the running back room, obviously pretty deep uh, this year, and we saw a lot of guys have a nice game in that week one. How do you make decisions in-game about how to break up the carries among all those great athletes? Well, you, you set an early plan at the very least uh, by series, and then you, you, there is a little bit of going with the hot hand and, and also you know, just trying to, to mix them up. You know, each running back uh, poses a different challenge, um, and, and you know, creating that change of pace is something that you want to be able to do. You want to keep guys fresh. Um, I think so all those things come into play. So we'll go in with an early uh, uh, plan and then we'll kind of let it go from there. All right, well, let's talk a little bit about this uh, South Dakota State team. You know, on the offensive side for them, they've got a number of different guys, wide receiver-wise, tight end-wise. Uh, what do they do creatively to try to get the ball into some of these pass catchers for them? Well, they, they, they change from week to week um, with the intent to get guys involved. You know, uh, it'll be interesting how they continue to evolve. Obviously, they lost a real good tight end in Tucker Craft, and they did a lot of things week to week um, to get him in uh, different spots to, you know, have him get his touches. Um, you know, they're still strong at that position with Hines. They certainly have the, the Yankee twins on the outside. So, you know, it's it's like anybody. You, you do the same things, but you mask it in different ways. You put your personnel in different different positions, you know, and, and, and when they only have one game, you know, really about a quarter of offense that we had a chance to look at. So, you know, we'll have to adjust. Uh, I'm certain they're going to want to use those those two running backs a lot at the same time. Those are, uh, you know, as, as good a tandem, I think, probably as they're, we're going to see. And, you know, we'll have to be keenly aware of, acutely aware of where they're at and, you know, do the best we can to rally and keep in front of us. Those two running backs, Isaiah Davis, the lead guy, Amar Johnson coming off the bench, but still very successful. Uh, how do they compare in terms of their style and their running style? Well, I, I suppose Davis is a little more powerful. He, he carries more weight to him, um, but still has the ability to, to finish runs uh, with his speed. I think you know, Johnson is more of a speed guy, but he's showing more and more of the ability to break tackles. So, you know, they're they're... They're similar enough in the fact that they can they don't have to pick and choose the type of runs they run with them, but their their style is a little bit different, um, and we have to certainly contend with both of them. Mark Gradowski, a guy very familiar in uh, their quarterback role, running this offense the last couple of years. What does he do to orchestrate this offense, and how does he play well? Well, I think he makes good decisions first and foremost, and I think he's he's increasingly become a better passer. We didn't see him in 21. He had been hurt in, a, in the spring of 21 in the national championship game. Um, and I was really impressed with how he played in the playoffs, not only in our, our game, but the games preceding and then obviously in the championship game. And, you know, seems to have a really good command of what they're doing. And then I think towards the tail end of the year was able to make, uh, make some real impactful runs in games too. So he's capable of, uh, you know, finishing runs with his speed. Um, and then I think, you know, he, he really didn't make mistakes down the stretch last year, um, you know, and it seems like they're, they're willing to put more and more on his shoulders. Um, and we'll, we'll see. We'll have to definitely uh, try to put as much pressure on, his, on him as we can. On the defensive side, their cornerbacks, number seven, Daly's beat, uh, beat him, and number five, Deshaun Gales. Between the two of them, you know, 13 combined career interceptions. So they do a nice job. But uh, what do your wide receivers need to do in order to get some space in this game on the outside? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, when given an opportunity, uh, you know, in those 50-50 those situations, if, if, if we present those, our guys just have to compete for the football. You know, I, I think that's something we've been able to do fairly well the last few years. And, 
you know, uh, this is a good tandem of quarterback cornerbacks. They, they do possess good size. Um, you know, a lot of their interceptions maybe come more in the zone variety where they're come out of the zone variety where their eyes are back to quarterback. But, uh, you know, given man-to-man situations, they've done pretty well. So, you know, we're going to have to battle for the football. We're going to have to create space um, when we can, and the quarterbacks are going to have to put it in the vicinity where we can go after it. All right, well, here we go. Montana State and South Dakota State. Coach, appreciate the time and the insight. Yeah, as always, go, go Cats. All right, we'll take a break. When we get back, we'll get you caught up on the rest of the action around the big sky and get you the two deeps as we get set for the Jackrabbits and the Bobcats. For head coach Brent Vegan, I'm Keaton Gologoli. This is Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. Keller Williams Montana Realty is your source for Southwest Montana real estate. Let our agents help you find your piece of big sky country today. Call 406-522-7000 or visit kwmontana.com. What does it mean to be locally owned and operated? For Cenex, it means everything. It means that we know if you take your coffee to go or if you like to stay a while. It means we've helped Little Leagues get jerseys and local festivals get funding. It means right, back we to you know coming up what next. our communities need. So you'll always leave Cenex with a full tank, full of snacks, or full of smiles. Or all of the above. And that means the world to us. Cenex. Powered locally. You already do so much. How about doing less and earning more? Rewards checking from Valley Credit Union lets you do just that. Earn 2.50% APY with no minimum balance, no service fees, and refunds up to $360 per year on ATM fees nationwide. Less hassle, more moolah. Visit valleyfcu.com to open an account online. Rewards checking from Valley Credit Union. Do less, earn more. APY equals annual percentage yield federally insured by the NCUA. Certain restrictions may apply. Bobcat football is finally here, and the Ridge Athletic Clubs are ready for a great season at the Ridge. We offer a beautiful facility with a basketball complex, group exercise studios with over 200 weekly classes, a pool, safe and fun child care, new functional fitness spaces, large comfortable locker rooms, and the best way in Bozeman to bring your fitness to the next level. Stop by for a tour after a game and see why the Ridge has been Bozeman strong for more than 20 years. Go Bobcats! No matter how far you may go, there's always one just down the road. Down Pump, who pump it up? Pump it up. Town of Pump is excited to once again sponsor the Brawl of the Wild Rivalry Series between Montana State and the University of Montana. Look for special Brawl of the Wild promotions throughout the hey, year. Hey, uh, Dylan, and just so you know, your crowd might be really loud. Pump, oh, okay, sound good. Sounds good. Like most Montana parents, I disapprove of teens using marijuana. ParentingMontana.org has information for me to learn about Montana's marijuana laws. For example, it's illegal for someone under the age of 21 to possess or consume marijuana unless they are a medical marijuana card holder. I also use ParentingMontana.org to establish our family's rules about marijuana and help my teen manage peer pressure. ParentingMontana.org, tools for your child's success. Brought to you by SAMHSA and Montana DPHHS. Keller Williams Montana Realty is your source for Southwest Montana real estate. Let our agents help Back you find 10. your piece of big sky country today. Call 406-522-7000 or visit kwmontana.com.
Rooted in Montana, we're not just another logistics company. We're Clear. the experts across the United States and Canada for expediting your containerized cargo. Offering a variety of services such as drayage, transloading, and expedited trucking, our team thrives on a culture of efficiency powered by top-tier customer service. We're continuously innovating with the latest tech to simplify your logistics process and save you precious time. Find out more at portxlogistics.com. Evolutionary technology, unreal service. Join the revolution with Port X Logistics. Whoever said, good things come to those who wait, clearly never ordered in the McDonald's app. Just order ahead in the app, and you can pick up when you get here. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Now football fans can score big, because on game day, get a 20-piece Chicken McNuggets for just $5 when you order ahead on the app. Now that's a W. Valid once per day through December 1st, 2023. I participate in McDonald's, must opt into rewards. Universal Athletic has been a proud supporter of Bobcat Athletics for over 45 years. Check out their great selection of Bobcat apparel and accessories for all your game day needs. Shop in store at their North 7th Avenue location or online at shop.msubobcats.com for everything you need to cheer on your and Bobcats. Keaton, uh, Universal you can call for Athletic, a legal whenever you get a an opportunity. A proud supporter of Bobcat Athletics for over 45 years. Go Cats! Ready to reap a harvest of success? Look no further than the Northern Pulse Growers Association. Join forces with fellow growers in cultivating high-protein, soil-enriching pulses that nourish both land and livelihood. From lentils to chickpeas, we're talking about crops that pack a punch. By becoming a member, you'll gain insider insights, hands-on workshops, and a network of Pulse-passionate partners. Visit our website to join the Northern Pulse Growers Association. Together, we're sowing the seeds of success, one pulse at a time. Rocky Mountain Credit Union has supported Montana State Athletics for over 40 years and provides a local credit union for past, present, and future Bobcats. You can have it all with RMCU. Low rates, local banking, a place to start saving, or work on building your credit. Visit your local branch or online at rmcu.net to become a member today. That's rmcu.net. Go Bobcats! Bobcat fans, let the Adage of Billings, Montana's number one new car dealer and proud partner of your Montana State Bobcats, has the new truck you've been looking for, in stock now and ready for immediate delivery. Come test drive a new 2023 Ram 1500 at Lithia Dodge of Billings. See why we're Montana's number one new car dealer. Based on 2020 and 2021 and 2022 Billboard new vehicle registration data. On the Bobcat Sports Network from Learfield, Bobcat Football is brought to you by Town Pump, the exclusive sponsor of the Brawl of the Wild, and by DoorTech. DoorTech is raising the door on quality. Now is the time. The time. This is the place. The place. Wow. Running down the left sideline, breaking it wide. There's no reason we can't be in position to go out there and win every time we take the field. A special teams touchdown for Montana State. We have to have a clear vision that going after national championship is what we're all about. Put the exclamation point on a championship season. Kickoff is just moments away from the first interstate bank broadcast booth. Here's the voice of the Bobcats, Keaton Galogli.
100.7. KXLB Churchill, Bozeman, Belgrade. Also in Livingston. On transit, in three, two, two, one, AL. you're back. Block M, outlined in navy blue with their navy blue pants.
there by Tommy. A little bit of a naked naked coverage right there. Good blitz by uh, South Dakota into it, but good, even better job by Tommy of escaping it. So first down for Montana State. Sean Chambers into the game with Malott right now. Snell lined up in the backfield. Here's the snap. He keeps it. Chambers up the middle, and he runs into a wall. Very short gain. Yeah, they're still attending to uh, who was ever down on the sideline because Malat, I mean, he got hit, so he was kind of in the air and went shoulder right into the chest of uh, one of the, the members who was working today. So hoping they're okay, but the game's going to go on here after a three-yard gain by Sean Chambers. And here's where we get to really see this offensive magic for Montana State. In the backfield right now, Chambers, Malat, Snell, and Davis. One receiver right, one to the left, into the Rose Hours red zone. Here's the snap. Chambers holds on to it, looking to throw. Steps up, through up to the 10, dives forward to the 5. And another first interstate bank, first down for Montana State. Wanted to throw, there was nothing there. Yeah, it was a good coverage by right there by the Jackrabbits. A designed, you know, kind of read it out. They're reading that linebacker there. He stood, great coverage there. Even better job by Sean Chambers, taking off, taking what he can get, getting the first down, you know, first and goal. Let's go. Here we go. Time to take care of business. Goal from the six-yard line. Sean Chambers is the quarterback. Tommy Mallott getting a breather. Thomas to the left. Garrigan to the right. Justice Perkins pointing things out at the center position. Thomas in motion. Here's the snap. Chambers keeps it. He runs left, gets contact to the five, still chugging forward, and he falls down inside the five-yard line, down to the two-yard line. So a nice job to gain four yards. And that's what Sean Chambers does best, man. He just keeps moving men. Just keep falling forward. That's what Coach Housewright is preaching to him. Just keep falling forward. You're a, a big human being when you're playing quarterback. There's not too many like it out there. And he's tough to tackle. And let's see what they, they do. I wouldn't surprise me if they run him three more times here. Second and goal to go from the two-yard line. Second possession of the day for the Bobcats set up after a fumble recovery. Four and a half to play in the first quarter. No score. Empty backfield shotgun formation. One receiver left, one to the right. Snap, Chambers keeps it, runs right up the middle, chugging at the goal line. He dives forward, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Montana State. Sean Chambers breaks the goal line, and the Bobcats have a 6-0 lead in the first. Great design right there. The same exact play that they ran the play before. Connor Moore collapsed the whole left side of that defensive line for the Jackrabbits. Great play. Way to go up early, Bobcats, putting some points on the board, capitalizing on that turnover. Town pump touchdown for Sean Chambers, his 22nd rushing touchdown and the 30th touchdown he's accounted for in his two years at Montana State. Tommy Sullivan will snap. Absher is there to hold. He puts it down, and Brendan Hall puts it up, and that is through. The Bobcats convert on the first uh, turnover of the game, their second drive of the day, and Montana State has the early lead. A 10-play, 57-yard drive over five and a half minutes. We're taking a break. Montana State up 7 nothing over South Dakota State with four minutes, 14 seconds to go in the first quarter. This is Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. Preparation. It's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Bobcats on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down, and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Senex station. Bobcat Pride, powered locally. Hello, tomorrow. We may not know exactly what you've got in store for us, for our routines and our normals, but here's the thing. Turns out, We've got this. We haven't seen everything, but we have seen ourselves be more ready for whatever you bring than we thought we would be. So when it comes to tomorrow, bring on the day. First Interstate, built for you. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Visit us at firstinterstate.com. It's time for a wellness tip from SCL Health, now Intermountain Health, an official health partner of the Bobcats. Do you ever feel winded after attending a Bobcats game? Here's something you might not know. Of course you do. You're a true blue and gold Bobcat fan. You sing the fight song at the top of your lungs. Stand up and cheer. Cheer long and loud for dear Montana State. That being said, keep those lungs healthy. The Bobcats need your energy. Learn more at intermountainhealth.org. Kings Montana State leading 7 to nothing over South Dakota State. 
Dan, how'd that one look on the sidelines? Cats tur converting a turnover into seven points. Yeah, that is huge. You turn that turnover, the Bobcats had struggled on that first drive a little bit, but turned that into points, and you ram Sean Chambers in there three or four times, it's gonna hurt, and finally he gets to the end zone. Well, that's why they brought Sean Chambers in. He's really, he's the closer. That's his 22nd rushing touchdown coming in his 14th game at Montana State. The Bobcats will kick it away from right to left now. Sporting a seven to nothing lead, already 44 yards rushing, approaching their total from a year ago. The right footed kick by Brandon Hall heading toward the left side of the end zone. It is caught and they will take a knee. So a touchback and uh, South Dakota State will take over. But first, we have a timeout coming. Everyday style is easy with favorite looks for family fun and saving a ton, whether you're savoring summer or gearing up for fall. We've got you covered. Shop Kohl's and Kohl's.com today. Taking a break from Brookings, Montana State leads South Dakota State 7-0 with 4.14 to go in the first quarter. You're listening to Bobcat Football, presented by Learfield. At Jersey Mike's, watching them freshly slice the meat and cheese for my sub is a sight to behold. The layers of ham, salami, and pepperoni are even more glorious than the pink and orange layers of a sunrise. Yeah, the sun's pretty and all that, but in about 7 billion years, it's going to explode, obliterating the earth and every living thing on it. And if there's no sun, there's no subs. Meanwhile, the only thing a sub ever obliterated was my hunger. Freshly sliced right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. While they're competing on the field, you are eating on the couch. They have one goal, you have one remote. They need a break from exercise. You might need some exercise. Get up and get Rosars ready for game day at the Rosars Red Zone in Bozeman. All the game day food you'll need to play quarterback, armchair quarterback, because if you're not eating, they're not winning. Get Rosars ready from Rosars Red Zone in Bozeman. Ready to build your brand? Think Inc. outside the box for your complete branding solutions. Located in Bozeman, Montana, we offer a full print shop for banners, signs, wraps, trade show booths and graphics, promotional products, and much more. If you can think it, we can ink it. We are a proud supporter and corporate sponsor of the MSU Bobcats. Like us on Facebook to see some of our cat wraps. Ready to build your brand? Think Inc. and call us at 406-922-6462 or visit us on the web at inkoutside.com. Bozeman Health doesn't want to have you have an injury timeout. A primary care provider helps keep you healthy and in the game. Visit bozemanhealth.org today. South Dakota State taking over at their own 25-yard line, trailing 7 to nothing against Montana State. 4.14 to go in the first quarter. we got a flag and a false start. South Dakota State flinching on the left side of the line. The Bobcats will back up. False start. start. Offense, number 87, 5-yard penalty. First down. All right, that's a rare mistake by South Dakota State. Yeah, they've had a few uncharacteristic mistakes. Uh, turnover early, now a false start. Um, let's see how they bounce back here, but proven that the Bobcats belong on the same field as these guys. Empty backfield for South Dakota State, now facing first and 15. This turns into a massive series now that it's uh, 15 yards to go. Isaiah Davis moves into the backfield now. Here's the snap. Gronowski keeps it, runs up the middle, and he is tackled shy of the 25-yard line. Three or four Bobcats were in there. That was a five-yard gain, so that'll bring up second and ten. Yeah, good job by the defense right there. Designed QB run all the way. Isaiah Davis leading up for the Jackrabbits. Solid first gain for the Jackrabbits. They're back to, you know, second and ten where they started. But uh, let's see if this Bobcat defense can fire up and, and get off the field, get the ball back in the hands of the playmakers of the offense. Two receivers to the left, pistol formation. Mark Gronowski, the junior quarterback. He has not lost to Montana State. He did not play in that 2021 semifinal. Now the snap, turns and hands it off to his right. Isaiah Davis bottled up on the right hash mark, a one yard gain, and that'll bring up third and nine. Nice job by the Bobcats to clock that thing up. Great job rallying. You could tell right there that, that Danny Yu, he saw something that they'd watched during film all week that told them that was a run play. There was not one guy farther than 10 yards away from the line of scrimmage on that snap. So if it tells you anything, the Bobcats want to stop the running attack for the Jackrabbits because that kind of sets up their whole entire offense. Make it third and eight. Three minutes to go, first quarter. Bobcat defense trying to get off the field. They forced a turnover 
on the first South Dakota State touch of the day. Shotgun snap, Gronowski looking to his right, and he is sacked in the backfield. Ryland Ort put him into the turf. What a play call by Coach Willie Mack right there. Show like they're only going to have four defensive linemen rush. They drop a defensive lineman out in coverage. They bring Rylan Ort, play with the offensive line for this Jackrabbits. They're a very experienced offensive line. They have not seen that blitz from the Bobcats because the Bobcats have not ran that blitz very much in Willie Mack's time, and great time to pull that out forces the punt. First the career sack for Rylan Ort, and now... South Dakota State will punt it away, and the true freshman, Jacob Trimble, is back to receive this punt. Here's the snap. Dustman steps into it. The right-footed kick, a little bit of a low-line drive. Trimble makes the catch, slips past one man at the 40, and he's tackled at the 45-yard line. And that's where Montana State will take over when we come back. Rylan Ord, a big sack to help turn that ball back to the Bobcats, and Montana State will have the ball on offense after this break. 2-0-1 to go in the first quarter. Montana State down, or excuse me, Montana State leading 7 to nothing over South Dakota State. You're listening to Bobcat Football from Learfield. At Jersey Mike's, watching them freshly slice the meat and cheese for my sub is a sight to behold. The layers of ham, salami, and pepperoni are even more glorious than the pink and orange layers of a sunrise. Yeah, the sun's pretty and all that. But in about 7 billion years, it's going to explode, obliterating the Earth and every living thing on it. And if there's no sun, there's no subs. Meanwhile, the only thing a sub ever obliterated was my hunger. Freshly sliced right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. Town & Country Foods is a proud supporter of Bobcat Athletics. As a locally owned company, we believe the benefit of buying local helps support the local economies in southwest Montana. Our stores offer great selections of items you need every day, including organic, specialty foods, fresh meats and produce, along with incredible selections from our bakery and deli departments. Town & Country Foods is 100% employee owned and serves southwest Montana with eight locations. Visit your local Town & Country Foods today. Go Cats! Ready to build your brand? Think Inc. outside the box for your complete branding solutions. Located in Bozeman, Montana, we offer a full print shop for banners, signs, wraps, trade show booths and graphics, promotional products, and much more. If you can think it, we can ink it. We are a proud supporter and corporate sponsor of the MSU Bobcats. Like us on Facebook to see some of our cat wraps. Ready to build your brand? Think Inc. and call us at 406-922-6462 or visit us on the web at inkoutside.com. 2-0-1 to go in the first quarter. Montana State leading South Dakota State 7-0. The Bobcats just got a big sack from Lyle and Ort. And now Montana State will take over at their own 44-yard line. They get the okay to go. Everybody's lined up and dialed and ready to rock. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Empty backfield with Julius Davis up on the line. Ballot takes the chest high snap. Fakes the handoff. He runs right behind a blocker. Cuts back left toward the hash and dives forward across the 50-yard line. Back they're going to mark him uh, at the 50. And a nice gainer there for Tommy Mallott. Dan Davies is down on the sideline. Dan, you must have had a pretty good view of that Ryland Ort sack. Yes, yes, I did. He timed it perfectly. Nice little uh, gap for him to sneak through there. And uh, quarterback Gronowski had no, no chance. Haven't seen a real clear path to the quarterback like that for the Bobcat defense in a while. And that was a thing of beauty. Bobcats with a football facing second and three after a seven-yard rush by Tommy Mallott. From the right hash mark, two to the left, two to the right. Davis in motion from left to right. Here's the snap. Mallott fakes the handoff. He runs up the middle, and it gets tripped up after a very short gain. And it looks like he's just shy. Yeah, just shy of that first down marker. Third down. Yeah, a little QB counter right there. Uh, double pull the field right there with the two offensive linemen on the right side and, and Marcus Weir and, and Omar. Good play by the Jackrabbits, recognizing coming up, making a tough tackle, bringing up a third and short for the Bobcats in, in plus 50 field position. Third and two, potentially four down territory no matter what. Davis is spread out to the right side. Thomas and Anaya spread out to the left, right in the middle of the field. And a flag. False start by the Bobcats. Getting loud. Full start. Offense, number eight. Five-yard penalty. Third down. 
Love the Bobcats. Hire them at MSU's Fall Career Fair on October 4th and 5th at the Brick Breton Fieldhouse. Check out other ways to recruit your fellow Bobcats by visiting hireabobcat.com. Go Cats. That's a costly penalty. Goes from third and two to now third and seven. It backs you up to your own 48-yard line. And this turns into one of the crucial first quarter plays with the clock ticking down to 20 seconds left in the first quarter. So this should be the final snap of the first. One receiver right. Two to the left, Jared White, the running back up the line in the shotgun formation. Cats need seven as this place gets loud. Snap, Malott looking to throw. Fires over the middle, caught for the first down. Cleveland Thomas crumples down after he picked up the first down, just sat down in front of the safeties, and the Bobcats move the chains. That shows the maturity of Tom Malott right there. Really reached through his whole progression right there, finds Cleveland Thomas for a first down. Bobcats moves the chain, end of the first quarter. Great job executing. We'll take a break. The Bobcats had one town pump touchdown. They just picked up a first interstate bank first down. And we're heading to the second quarter. Montana State with a football and driving. They lead South Dakota State 7 to nothing. You're listening to Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. For all you've been through lately, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Montana wants to make sure you are covered in care. From preventive cancer screenings to proper control of diabetes, high blood pressure and behavioral health management, to prenatal care and child immunizations, Blue Cross and Blue Shield is by your side, reminding you preventive care is imperative care. Stay on top of your health at bcbsmt.com. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Montana, through it all. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Montana, a division of Healthcare Service Corporation, a mutual legal reserve company. The Bobcats are proud to present these preferred local partners in the home service industry as members of Bobcat Bill. Bryant Heating and Cooling Systems, an evolution in comfort has arrived. Bryant, whatever it takes. Carrier Heating and Air Conditioning, confidence is at the heart of everything we do. Carrier, turn to the experts. Mesa Moving and Storage, moving your family soon? Mesa Moving and Storage is here to help. Montana State Athletics encourages our fans to choose these local businesses as they are proud local sponsors and demonstrate what it means to be a Bobcat. We are Bobcat Bill. Bobcat football is finally here, and the Ridge Athletic Clubs are ready for a great season at the Ridge. We offer a beautiful facility with a basketball complex, group exercise studios with over 200 weekly classes, a pool, safe and fun child care, new functional fitness spaces, large comfortable locker rooms, and the best way in Bozeman to bring your fitness to the next level. Stop by for a tour after a game and see why the Ridge has been Bozeman strong for more than 20 years. Go Bobcats! Start the second quarter, Montana State with the football in plus territory and a first fresh set of downs. They lead 7-0 over South Dakota State. Bobcat Nation, Toyota has created a rewards program specifically for you. As part of the Toyota Rewards Program, you can win exclusive swag throughout the year along with receiving a premium giveaway in the mail each time you bring your vehicle in to be serviced at your local Montana Toyota dealers. To join the program, visit msubobcats.com slash Toyota Rewards today. Well, Dan, the Bobcats picking up a big-time third down right there. That was some big-time moxie by Tommy Mallott. Yeah, and he, you can just tell the experience that he's gained over his three years here. He didn't panic. He knew where his guy was going to turn around at the, at the first down sticks and delivered a strike to keep that drive going. Bobcats had 52 rushing yards here in that game in the semifinals, 52 rushing yards on 11 attempts in the first quarter today. So 11 carries, 52 yards, and a touchdown spread out between Malat, Chambers, and Davis. Cats also with uh, five completions and 31 yards through the air, including that first down to now Montana State. Continues to work on this drive, their third of the game. They converted earlier on a Sean Chambers rushing a touchdown from a couple of yards out on a drive that started after a fumble recovery following Mark Gronowski kneeing the ball out of his hand while he was scrambling out in the backfield. So up at the 44-yard line in Jackrabbit territory, two receivers to the left and one half back. Here's the snap. They bring pressure. They hand it off, and Scott Trey Humphrey is met after a two-yard gain. Boy, that was a massive collision of humans. Isaiah Stalbert and Scott Trey Humphrey, that's a welcome to college hit. Yeah, Isaiah Stalbert, he's been on the South Dakota State team for a long time. He's done a lot of good things here. Comes down, makes a big time hit on the freshman. You know, good play for the Jackrabbits to start off with, but uh, good job by Scott Trey getting what he can get, getting two yards, still a positive game. Bobcat offensive line picked up a little bit of a blitz there too. Three receivers to the right. Julius Davis back in there in a pistol formation as the running back. Tania, Thomas, and Snell spread out to the right side. Second and eight after the Humphrey two-yard game. The snap, Malat hands it off. Davis shoves off one man and spins forward up to the 40-yard line. 
Two yard gain. We're gonna bring up third and six for Montana State. Yeah, the Jackrabbits kind of dialing up the pressure a little bit. Last couple plays, they brought pressure from you know, both the safety position, corner position, and the linebacker position. So they're trying to turn the heat up on this Bobcat offense. Let's see how they can respond. Uh, the Bobcats are close to these run plays popping, these two, three yard gains. Now they hope for them to be 10, 12, 15 yard gains come third and fourth quarter. Davis in the backfield in the pistol formation. Thomas and Anaya spread out to the right side. Snell on the right side of the line. Pistol snap, turns, hands it off. Davis shuffles to his left, up near the number, spins forward, and he's just shy of that first down marker. And his shoe came off, and there's a flag. That was one of the Jackrabbits who grabbed Julius Davis' shoe, which was on the ground. It just slipped out, and he threw it up into the air, and that brings some laundry. That could give the Bobcats another first down. Yeah, Coach Rogers, he's got to be very upset in this Jackrabbit defense. They're a veteran group. They know better than to, you know, do dumb things on the field like that. Oh, that is a huge, huge mistake from a veteran. After the play on sportsmanlike conduct, defense number 25. That is his first of the game for ejection. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Wow. Very uncharacteristic early from this Jackrabbit football team. You know, they're a team that comes into this. They do not have a lot of penalties. They do not have a lot of turnovers. And they've had a lot of all of those early this game. That was Kale Reeder, one of their starting safeties. So Montana State moves up to the 22-yard line. First interstate bank, first down. Sean Chambers into the game. To his left is Malott. To his right is Jared White. Derek Snell behind him. First down snap. Hands it off. Malott runs right behind Snell, and he is upended to the 19-yard line. A three-yard gain. Got a good. little tripped up there. Yeah, it was a good play by the Jackrabbits. Jared White leading up. Just kind of missed his block a little bit. Kind of, you know, got a little bit too far out in front of himself, and they were able to make a good play. The Jackrabbits were and, and bring Tommy Malott down. Again, though, positive gain. Two yards, uh, you know, always going forward. That's a good thing. Bobcat football is presented by your locally owned McDonald's restaurants. Download the app and earn free food. Order from anywhere and even skip the line with convenient curbside pickup. Three receivers to the left. Snell up to the line on the right side. Malat in the slot. Chambers in the shotgun formation as the quarterback. Here's the snap. He keeps it. Runs right up the middle. Gets across the 25 and taken down near the 10-yard line. Excuse me, across the 15 and near the 10-yard line. First interstate bank first down into the Rose Hours red zone. And the Cats offense looking very, very successful and methodical right now. Yeah, great play design. Design QB run the whole way. Sean Chambers, you know, you basically have seven offensive linemen in there with Trayden Pickard and Derek Snell kind of flanking off to the side there, blocking. I mean, that's a tough group, and it's a tough guy to tackle. So Montana State knocking on the door again, already, already leading 7-0 against the reigning national champs. 11.50 to go in the second quarter. From the 11-yard line, first and 10, one receiver left, one to the right, Chambers the quarterback. Man in motion from right to left, here's the snap, and a whistle and a flag right as that ball was snapped. Play clock, maybe. Ball start. Offense, number eight. Five-yard penalty, first down. A little sloppier game on both sides than these two teams saw a week ago. Yeah, two, two penalties that on Derek Snell, so unusual. Jacob Trimble checking into the ball game. The true freshman starting in the slot position. Sean Chambers is going to get a playoff. Tommy Ballant jogging onto the field. That play clock winding down. He just got to the huddle right now with 14 seconds. They break the huddle as they hit 10 seconds on the play clock, facing first and 15 from the 16-yard line of the Rosauer's red zone. Empty backfield. Two receivers left. One to the right, heading toward the student section. Here's the snap. Ballant keeps it. Shuffles between two defenders. Spins forward. Back up to the 14-yard line, so that'll bring up second down and still very long for Montana State. Great pursuit by Brian Williams there. The defensive tackle on the left side came all the way across to the right side to, to make the tackle right there on Tommy Malott. Great play by him, great hustle. You know, brings up a, a very critical play here for the Bobcats. Third and 13 from the 14-yard line. Montana State driving into the Rosauer's red zone, up 7-0 over South Dakota State. Chambers and Malott in the backfield, and a flag. Let's see how this one goes. Thought it might have been the Jackrabbits that moved into the, uh, the neutral zone. Full start. Oh. Offense, number 72. Five-yard penalty. Second down. 
pair of false starts on this drive, stalled it out in the red zone. Yeah, they're going to get the young freshman Connor Moore right there. Second career start. You know, tough, tough atmosphere to play in, but you got to hold your water a little bit there. You know, those mistakes, they've lost 10 yards just in this down set, and, and that's why they're in this situation that they're in right now in a long third down. Montana State with the football from the left hash mark. Second and 18 to go. Here's the snap. Chambers fakes the handoff, shuffles out of pressure, works his way up the middle, and back up to the 14-yard line. And that'll bring up. They had second down listed, so it should be third down. Getting a little mixed up with all the ball starts. Yeah, it's and the third snaps. down now. Yep. Okay, there we go. Just making sure we had it right. And, you know, they, they've kind of flipped through the downs on the scoreboard a few times. So just want to make sure we got everything in order, and we do. It is third and 13. Cats can still get a first down at the one-yard line. They're at the 14-yard line of South Dakota State, leading 7 to nothing with 9.45 to go in the second quarter. Bobcats with a clock-bleeding drive here. They've had the ball for a while now. And are going back to work. Malott and Chambers in the backfield along with Snell and Davis. Snap to Chambers. Fakes the handoff. He runs right. Meets the linebackers at the 10-yard line. And that's as far as he will go. That'll bring up fourth down and goal to go. And the Bobcats will try a field goal here. Very modest distance for Brendan Hall. Yeah, really good job right there by, by the Jackrabbits. Jason Freeman coming down, making a, a good, solid tackle on Sean Chambers right there before he could break loose and do some more damage for the Bobcats. 11 play, 12 yard drive to this point with two false starts. Felt like they had it a while, but really the time of possession was actually only two minutes on that drive. So Brendan Hall will dial it up from about 17 yards out. Sullivan snap right on the money. Absher's hold, that's good. Brendan Hall's kick is through, and Brendan Hall knocks through his first converted field goal of his career, the third attempt of his career after transferring from SMU, and the Cats extend their lead. Let's take Let's take a timeout. 8.49 to go in the first half. Montana State leading South Dakota State 10 to nothing. You're listening to Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. Did you know that Southwest Montana has one of the highest per capita hot tub usage rates in the world? See what your friends and neighbors already know. How great it feels to soak under the big sky. Mountain Hot Tub has helped more friends and families relax in hot water than anyone in Montana. New hot tubs starting at less than $5,000. When you're ready to relieve stress and save money at the same time, come see us at the corner of Huffine and Gooch Hill. Mountain Hot Tub, since 1979. The Rocking R Bar is your home for everything Bobcat football. Whether the Cats are home or away, we are your game day headquarters. Swing by for great food specials like the Sunny Holland Burger from our new grill, Hail Mary's. We also serve the best Montana craft beer and liquor the state has to offer. So grab a pint, something to eat, and one of our very own Rocking R Bar liquors because it's a great time to be a Bobcat at the Rocking R Bar. Hi, former Bobcat, Lou Salcedo for Western Motors. Our team proudly supports MSU Bobcat football both on and off the field. I want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck for the season. Western Motors has spent the last 22 years serving Gallatin County and supporting over 40 local organizations. We have been recognized as the best in Bozeman and Gallatin's greatest several years running. As Montana's number one volume dealer, we are hired in all departments across eight of our dealerships. We have plenty of new and used inventory ready for purchase. Good luck, Bobcats. Western Motors, community born, community driven. Now during the fourth quarter at any home or away game during the regular season, four lucky fans will be selected to win a prize. Sign up today at msubobcats.com slash rav4, the number four. Montana State will kick it, kick it off after putting a uh, field goal through the upright, so they lead 10 to nothing over South Dakota State with 8.49 to go in the uh, second quarter. And it was kind of a, a neutral drive there for Montana State. Yeah, they got into the red zone, but a couple of false starts. South Dakota State's going to feel all right about keeping them to a field goal, but... Bottom line, Cats have a 10-point lead as they kick off. Yeah, a couple of mistakes there, a couple uncharacteristic mistakes there by the Bobcats, but once again, you come away with points. Anytime you do that, it's a solid drive. Here's the kickoff by Brendan Hall right down the middle of the field, and that is a touchback. That'll take us to another break. Bobcat football is presented by your locally owned McDonald's restaurant. Download the app and earn free food. Order from anywhere and even skip the line with convenient curbside pickup. 8.49 to go in the second quarter in a marquee matchup of FCS powerhouses. It's Montana State leading 
10 to nothing over South Dakota State. You're listening to Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. From our 1946 roots, providing lumber for Yellowstone National Park to our current headquarters in Bozeman, we at Simpkins Hallen believe in building the Gallatin Valley's future while continuing to honor its past. Contractors large and small benefit from our decades of experience and our extensive network of suppliers. We can source the materials you need, no matter the project. For all your building needs, go to where longstanding traditions have met with quality building products for over 75 years. Simpkins Hallen, a Montana tradition among builders since 1946. Town & Country Foods is a proud supporter of Bobcat Athletics. As a locally owned company, we believe the benefit of buying local helps support the local economies in southwest Montana. Our stores offer great selections of items you need every day, including organic, specialty foods, fresh meats and produce, along with incredible selections from our bakery and deli departments. Town & Country Foods is 100% employee owned and serves southwest Montana with eight locations. Visit your local Town & Country Foods today. Go Cats! At Montana State University, students shape signature experiences that take them across the state and into local communities. MSU is dedicated to its land-grant mission, integrating transformational learning, discovery, and service that improves lives. You'll find our students teaching across Montana, conducting research in the heart of Yellowstone National Park, or even creating small shelter prototypes to address homelessness. Montana State University, think outside. 8.49 to go in the second quarter. Montana State leading 10 to nothing over South Dakota State. Jack grab its football, and Dan Bobcats with 10 points in this first half. Nice start. Boy, that was huge to get points there. I know you want to get a touchdown there, but to come away with zero would be a, a disaster of sorts early in the game, but the lead here at 10 nothing with uh, 8.49 left in the game is huge. South Dakota State ready to start their next drive. Here's the snap. They hand it off. Amar Johnson shuffling through the middle, but not much places to go. Does push forward a little bit. They're going to give him only two yards on the play. Nice job by the D-line crowding things inside. Yeah, great job by uh, Blake Schmidt, Sebastian Valdez. Um, those two are going to have to play a huge role this game. We're a little bit thin at defensive tackle right now, and these two, are they're going to have to play a huge role in this football game, and they're going to be a determining factor if the Bobcats come out victorious or not. And that was a D-line that got shoved around uh, on the ice that was the field last year, so they've got a bone to pick with this offensive line for South Dakota State. It's all the same guys. These people know each other. There's plenty of familiarity. It's second and eight now, and here's the snap. Gronowski keeps it on a design run. He's got room up the middle. He picks up the first down, and he's, he's tackled from behind by Kenneth Iden up to the 35-yard line. That's another $10 being donated to the Bozeman Food Bank, courtesy of Town and Country Foods, after that Bobcat tackle. Design QB run right there. Great job by the fullback from South Dakota State and Michael Morgan coming up on the linebacker there. You know, positive play for the Jackrabbits. You know, tough play in terms of fit for the Bobcat defense right there. Look for him to kind of shore up that, you know, quarterback run scheme that South Dakota State's going to run. From their own 36-yard line, first and 10 for South Dakota State. Empty backfield. Shotgun snap. Gronowski looking to throw. Fires over the middle. That's caught by Jackson Yonke, and he carries a man up to the first down marker. Ten-yard gain on the catch and drag. It was Lavelle Price Jr. hanging over his shoulders. So two quick first downs for South Dakota State. Really good job right there by the South Dakota State. Offensive line kind of picking up that little twist game with the defensive line. They ran a game there. Great throw by Gronowski just hanging in there to the last second, making a good throw. Even better catch by Jackson Yonke. First down for the Jackrabbits. Jackson Yonke, number 10. Jaden Yonke, number one. Those are the two sixth-year twins. Shotgun snap on first down. Amar Johnson takes the handoff. He cuts back right with a spin move and then is met at the 50-yard line with a big-time pop. That was Drew Polidor coming in there to knock him down, but still another girthy gain by that running offense by South Dakota State into plus territory up to the 49. Yeah, and the Jackrabbits, they really do believe that these two, three, four yard gains are going to turn in those 25 yard gashers that we saw last year. There, there was 15 or 16 explosive plays by this Jackrabbit offense. Last year, we really haven't seen that yet from them, but they're definitely hopeful, and the Bobcat defense is looking to stop that. No real big plays yet. Biggest plays of the game have been about 9 to 10 yards. Snap. Gronowski fakes the handoff, drops back, looking to throw, takes a shot down the middle of the field. That is incomplete. He had a man open. Jackson Yonke had a little bit of space, and he just overthrew him by a step or two. Yeah, good route by 
by Jackson Yonke right there on John Johnson. That's going to be a little bit of a matchup to watch. John Johnson obviously backing up, but he's a guy that's going to play a huge role in this Bobcat defense. Got a little bit beat there, got a little bit out of position, but luckily a little bit of a missed throw by Gronowski there. Third and five for South Dakota State. Another chance for the Bobcat defense to get off the field. 6.03 to go in the first half. Montana State leading 10 to nothing, trying to get back to a number one ranking for the first time in over 10 years. Here's the snap they hand it off. He runs up the middle and he's bottled up. Sebastian Valdez with a big time bear hug and they get a big third down stop. Let's see what South Dakota State wants to do on fourth down now. That's why he's a preseason All-American right there. Sebastian Valdez put on about 20 pounds of pure muscle in the offseason. The guy is built like a Greek god, and I am not exaggerating when I say that. You know, great football player, even better play right there to get the Bobcats off the field. So South Dakota State will punt in plus territory at the 48-yard line facing fourth and four. Derek Snell is back to return the punt. Here's the snap. Dustman steps into it with the right foot. High arcing kick with some hang time. Snell fakes that he's going to make the catch, and then it knocks down around the five, and it is down near that thir three-yard line, and that's where the next drive will start for Montana State. Not only is dairy delicious, but it also promotes health as well. Just three servings of dairy a day improves overall wellness and may reduce the risk of developing some chronic diseases. It's a quick, convenient, and economic way to make sure you're staying strong and healthy on and off the field. 5.14 to go in the first half. Bobcats with a football when we come back. It's Montana State 10, South Dakota State nothing. You're listening to Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. I wanted to put up a fence to protect my tomato plants. So I grabbed this and this and then I did this. But instead of yielding a big crop, I hit a utility line and had to pay $1,200 in repairs. I didn't just lose my pride and joy. I could no longer afford the new stovetop I'd been saving up for. Next time, I'm going to make my free call to 811 before I dig. Learn from Curry and hundreds of others. Call 811 before you dig. Brought to you by Montana811.org. With friendly customer service and an outstanding location near Montana State University in the base of the Bridger Mountain Range, Country Inn & Suites by Radisson is the perfect place to begin your Bozeman adventure. Country Inn & Suites offers a hot and delicious Be Our Guest breakfast buffet each morning. Free Wi-Fi is available throughout the property, and we have a business center and meeting rooms. Our indoor pool and hot tub is a great way to relax after a day of fun, and the on-site fitness center will keep your workout goals on track. We have spacious King and Double Queen Suites with a full-size sleeper sofa available, and every room in Country Inn & Suites is smoke-free. Reserve your room today. Montana Farm Bureau. We are the farmers and ranchers who raise the juicy beef on your tailgate grill, who grow the wheat for your fresh burger bun, and who harvest the barley for the cold beer in your bobcat koozie. We are the grassroots voice of agriculture, advocating for farmers and ranchers across our state. Farm Bureau is leading Montana toward a future with a prosperous agriculture economy and thriving rural communities. Join Montana Farm Bureau at mfbf.org and go Bobcats. 5.14 to go in the first half. Montana State with a football leading 10 to nothing over South Dakota State. They will take over on their own seven-yard line after South Dakota State was able to down a punt deep in the Bobcats' territory. Tommy Malott, the quarterback on the right, hash mark. Julius Davis is the running back. Thomas in motion from left to right. Here's the snap. He hands it off. Davis runs left toward the hash mark. Cuts up field there. Pushing forward. Chugging forward up to the 15-yard line. Nice game by Julius Davis. Second and short. But Dan, Bobcats pitching a shutout to this point. They just got off the field again. Defense is looking sharp. Yeah, they're doing a heck of a job. They're uh, called a great job by Willie Mac Garza. Calling it a timely blitzes and uh, keeping all those uh, jackrabbits in front of him. Sebastian Valdez, a big third down tackle on that last possession. Rylan Ort, his first career sack. That helped get the Cats off the field earlier as well. Montana State facing second and one after a nine-yard rush by Julius Davis in the shadow of their own goalpost. From the left hash mark up the 16-yard line. Pistol formation. One receiver left, one to the right. Snap, turns, hands it off. Julius Davis running left. Makes one man miss for the first down, and he's undercut up at the 25-yard line. First interstate bank, first down. Julius Davis starting to get through now. He's starting to heat up a little bit. Came a little bit close to the Midwest, so maybe he's going to you know, <laughs> heat up. Gets a little bit closer where he's more familiar with. And uh, good to see the Bobcats get out of of the South Dakota State end zone right there. Get a little bit of room and, and get going. Out of the anti-red zone up to yep. the 25-yard line. 
Builders First Source, the leading supplier of professional grade building materials. Find one of our nine Montana locations at bldr.com. First and 10 for Montana State at the 25 yard line. Here's the snap. They hand it off to Jared White. He runs up the middle and gets tackled up at the 31 yard line. Moving to his left across that hash mark. A nice, another hardy gain. Now those three yard gains are starting to turn into five yard gains. And that's exactly what Coach Al Johnson wants this offensive line to do. They're taking it personal from last year. They believe that South Dakota State was a better football team. And quite honestly, when you look at the film, they were up front. They dominated us, and the offensive line for the Cats, they're taking that personally, and they're taking it to the Jackrabbits thus far. To the right, Pickering, the freshman Trimble, Aiden Garrigan. To the left, Cleveland Thomas, Jared White in there next to Tommy Mulata, the left hash mark. Second and four, three minutes to go in the first half. Snap, fakes the handoff. Mulat keeps it, running left, undercut after another yard, maybe two. Up to the 33-ish yard line, third down coming up, under three minutes to play in the first half. A little bit of a mishap on the on the mesh right there between White and Malott. Uh, Coach Mix has got to you know clean that up and, and wants White to come through a little bit cleaner because it it kind of screws with the read of Tommy right there and didn't end up being a very good play, but brings up a crucial third down. Third and two from their own 33-yard line. Empty backfield for Malott on the left hash mark. Two receivers to the right. That's Trimble and Garrigan. To the left is Thomas pointing out some pressure. Jared White dip on the left side of the line. Snap, Malat looking to throw, he's got time, now tucks it, runs left, heading toward the sticks, and he got there as he got met. He needed two, he got three, at a big high-low tackle there from a defensive back and a linebacker. Really the first time that the Jackrabbits have been able to get a big hit on Tommy right there. He's done a good job thus far of kind of getting down and staying out of the way as the Jackrabbit goes down right there. Jason Looks, Freeman. Yep. Yeah, he was in there on the tackle, and Freeman a little bit banged up. The Small Business Game Changer Contest is back and presented by the Bozeman Area Chamber, Chamber of Commerce. A local business will have the chance to win a $10,000 marketing package with MSU Athletics. Visit bozemanchamber.com slash gamechanger for details. The winner will be announced on November 11th versus Eastern Washington. 157 to go in the first half. Cats trying to put together a long drive late in the second quarter. They're at their own 37-yard line after a first interstate bank first down. Cats up to 112 yards on the ground in the first half. South Dakota State allowed just 88 yards a game on the ground a year ago. So Montana State's rushing offense, the best in the nation last year, one of the best in the nation, is starting to show up today. First and 10. Clock running under two minutes. Three receivers right, two to the left. Empty backfield on the left hash mark. Malat hands held chest high. Takes the snap, looking to throw, looking right. Now flushed out of the pocket to the numbers on the left side. He tucks it and scoots forward out of bounds down that left sideline. Good coverage that time by South Dakota State, but a nice gain by Tommy Malat. Good coverage. Smart play by Tommy, getting out of bounds right there, stopping the clock because um, it's under two minutes and the, and the clock will stop right there, but... You know, really mature job, staying patient, didn't force any balls down the field, took what the defense gave him, positive play to start. Now we get a second of five, a little bit more manageable. Still three timeouts to the pocket of the Bobcats. Final 90 seconds the first half. Montana State's done everything they've wanted to do on the offensive end. Garrigan, Trimble, Pickering to the right. Davis, Thomas to the left in an empty backfield facing second and five. Shotgun snap, Malat looking to throw. Fires into the flat. Davis makes the catch on the left sideline. Bowls over one man, and he's pushed out of bounds. Shy of the first down marker. Wow, that was a booming collision that probably registered on the Richter scale. That'll fire up the Bobcat sideline. Those guys are fired up for Julius. Taking it to the Jackrabbit defense right there. Good Huge physical run, brings up a third and short for the Bobcats. Really crucial situation as the Jackrabbits get the ball to start the second half. Montana State trying to convert on third down again. They're two for four today. Third and two, 122 left in the first half. Cats up 10 to nothing, trying to keep this drive alive up at their own 45-yard line. Jared White is the halfback. Trimble, Thomas, Garrigan spread out to the right side. Here's the snap. Hands it off, Jared White up the middle, but he got tripped up a yard shy. There was a little space there, but Sutton grabbed his ankle and took him down. Fourth and very short. There was a little bit of a space right there. Brings up some decision time for the Bobcats. Jared just got to pick up his feet a little bit there, and that's probably a first down. 
Boy, that was close to getting that thing fruit through. And now a timeout called by South Dakota State. Well, Dan, the, the Bobcats rushing game today, much, much better than last time we were here. They've already doubled their rushing total from a year ago, and it's still the first half. Yeah, they're, they're doing an excellent job. And, you, boy, you got to credit this defense from the standpoint that they, uh, the first possession that South Dakota State had, it was a fumble. Then the Bobcat defense got a three and out and then forced a punt. So three possessions for South Dakota State in this first half. Credit both the offense and the defense here for this 10-zip lead. We're at the top of the hour. Let's pause 10 seconds for our network station identification. This is Bobcat Football. XL Country, 100.7. KXLB Churchill, Bozeman, Belgrade. Also in Livingston. On translator, k 2 I'm Keith Galobley alongside AL. RJ Fitzgerald. Dan Davies is down on the sidelines. Dylan McPhail is up at the booth with us as our on-site engineer. And Jesse Ropolato is back in studio. Montana State leads 10 to nothing over South Dakota State with 1.15 to go in the first half. Montana State facing fourth and one at their own 46-yard line. Join Champs New Kids Club, presented by Billings Clinic Bozeman. Your $25 membership fee gets you game tickets, Bobcat gear, and more. Sign up today at msubobcats.com slash Champs Kids Club. So, RJ, the Jackrabbits use the timeout here, and Brendan Hall looks like he's warming up to punt. Yeah, I mean, this is a situation where you have to punt the football. You can't give the Jackrabbits a plus 50 possession if you don't get the first down. However, if you're a Jackrabbit fan, you're going to get the ball back. A little over a minute left. You're going to have two timeouts. You get the ball to start the second half, so the Jackrabbits are going to look to go with a little bit of a two-for-one situation here, something that Bill Belichick from the Patriots uses quite often. And, you know, it's going to be a crucial, crucial possession for this Bobcat defense. As, you know, this is where the momentum's kind of won or lost going into halftime. And, guys, also this is a huge special teams play right here. It'll be important to get the Jackrabbits pinned back deep in their own territory. Well, it's nice having an all-conference long snapper like Tommy Sullivan. Brendan Hall has proved to uh, show up to the task so far through a game and a half, the SMU transfer. And he will line it up now and punt this thing away to Tucker Large, who is back to receive this punt, standing at about his own 10-yard line with 75 seconds left in the first half. Here's the snap, chest high. Brendan Hall steps into it with the right foot. Spy rolling kick out toward the numbers on the right side. That bounces at the 10, and ricochets out of bounds. Picture perfect coffin corner by Brendan Hall. Justin Udy flies over to him. Brett Vegan comes over with a couple of pats on the shoulder pads. That was perfect. Huge punt right there. You can't understate or overstate, rather said, how important that punt was to keep the Jackrabbits within their own 10-yard line, having to be backed up to start this possession, having to go, you know, probably 50, 60 yards to even get in fringe field goal range. 108 to go in the first half. South Dakota State taking over that ball down at the six-yard line as it hopped out of bounds. So let's see, Montana State's defense, if they can get off the field here and pitch a first-half shutout against one of the best offenses in the country they're going to be feeling pretty good in that locker room here's the shotgun snap Gronowski looking to throw under pressure in his own end zone rolling out to his left he fires incomplete as Brody Greeby was in pursuit intended for Hines the tight end on the left sideline second down and 10 to go yes yeah, seven guys in coverage for the Bobcats right there good job throughout the whole field no miscommunication right there you know Good job by Gronowski of kind of extending that play, rolling out to the left, but Brody Greeby was there to force the throw, fo force him to throw the ball out of out of bounds and, and force in completion. Kenneth Hyden checking in for Blake Schmidt now on the D-line along with Seymour Valdez and Greeby. It's O'Reilly and Louis Lakepa in at the linebacker positions right now. Caden Dowler's in at Nickelback along with Ort. Polidor, Johnson, and Woodard. Second and ten. Here's the snap. Gronowski looking to throw. In trouble. Flips it over the middle. Caught by Isaiah Davis. And he is tackled near that first down marker. Good pressure that time. And it was just the running back that leaked out in the middle of the field. And they did get the first down. So a ten-yard gain. Just got to keep everything in front of you if you're the Bobcats right here. Force, it, force the clock to run. Time is your friend. Quickly, they get to the line. Snap. Fires over the middle, caught by Zach Hines, the tight end. He dives forward for another nine-yard gain. Still the 10-yard gain of that last play, the longest play of this game on either side. They hustle to the line of scrimmage. 40 seconds to go in the first half. Montana State up 10 to nothing. Snap from the 27-yard line, facing second and one. Fires to the left sideline, drop. Jackson Yonke had 
room. It was right there in the numbers, and one of the great pass catchers in program history caught, or dropped rather, a surefire first down. Yeah, Jackson's going to be very disappointed in himself right there, as that would have kind of jump-started this South Dakota State offense, would have got him moving up a li little bit farther, maybe to get in fringe field goal range, but, you know, Brings up big third down. 33 seconds left at their own 27-yard line facing third and one. Snap, Gronowski, quarterback, sneak, push of the pile. And he got the first down up to the 29-yard line. Two timeouts for uh, the Jackrabbits and now one. So a timeout called by South Dakota State. And uh, South Dakota State will reset. So down to their final timeout now. Bobcat fans, when you buy Bobcat products at the MSU Bookstore, you help lower the price of course materials for Montana State students. Shop online at Bobcat Stadium or on campus. MSU Bookstore is your Bobcat Gear headquarters. Oh, they did not use the timeout. They're quickly back up to the line of scrimmage here. 30 seconds to go in the first half. Snap to Kronowski. Plenty of time. Fires down the left sideline. Incomplete over the head of Jackson Yonke. There was a little miscommunication there. Kronowski kind of throwing his arm forward thinking Jackson was going to be heading down that sideline. Yeah, I mean, a little bit of an overthrow right there, but if you're a Bobcat fan, you got to be a little disappointed in how that clock situation went right there. The clock never ran. We thought the Jackrabbits took a timeout, but it, they didn't, and the clock never ran. They had a, a good 40, 45 seconds, and no time went off the clock. 26 seconds left in the first half from their own 29-yard line. Jackrabbits with the football facing second and 10, down 10 to nothing. Shotgun snap. Gronowski steps up, fires to the right side. That is caught at the first down marker. A low throw. Jackson Yonke going down to his knees to make that catch right at the first down marker up at the 39-yard line. Not a first down. No, they did stand it short. And now the second charge timeout by South Dakota State. Boy, he was right there. And if that was a better throw, Dan, that sure uh, certainly would have been a first down. Yeah, without a doubt. He was on his knees before the ball got there, so there's no way he could advance it. But he did go down and make the catch. At Montana State University in Bozeman, we like to think outside, but not just because we have access to some of the best outdoor recreation on the planet. We like to think outside because we are creators, researchers, artists, and thinkers breaking boundaries in over 250 fields. Montana State University, mountains and mines. Well, RJ, this is a completely different story this year than it was last year. South Dakota State scored on their first five drives of the game today. They've got only 26 yards on the ground on 11 carries. 6 of 11 through the air for 49 yards, and the Cats are 20 seconds away from potentially throwing a shutout in the first half. Yeah, credit to Coach Howe and the defensive line. They've really stepped their game up, and they have played more physical than the Jackrabbits, and that's going to be the difference in this ball game if the Cats win or lose. Third and one from their own 39-yard line with 20 seconds left and a timeout in their pocket. Jackrabbits down 10 to nothing with a football. Empty backfield, shotgun formation. Snap to Gronowski. Looks to his right, nowhere to go. Flushed out, slips past Iden, and he gets the first down, diving forward for two, maybe three yards. And a first down coming up, but a Bobcat is down and hurt. I think that's Sebastian Valdez on all fours. It is. And he is in some serious pain. That would be... A big, big issue for the Bobcats if he is hurt. I mean, the timing is is bad, not, not, not with the injury to Sebastian Valdez, but that, that this is a free timeout for South Dakota State at this point. Valdez helped to his feet. He is walking off now. Zach Black will come in and replace him. And Valdez jogging off. I'm not sure what it was, but hopefully it's not an extended injury here. Yeah, he's one of the best defensive linemen in the entire country, so it, good to see him jog off on his own power right there. But, you know, to your credit, Dan, uh, you kind of called it. it. It wasn't a, you know, ideal situation for someone to go down right there. Hopefully he's all right, but uh, definitely not the right time to have guys go down. Clock should be going now. 15 seconds on the game clock, still sitting pat, not rolling. Montana State up 10 to nothing from their own 41-yard line. It was a rushing play on that last uh, that last play. No timeouts were charged. Here's the snap. Gronowski looking to throw. Fires into the flat on the right side of our Johnson brought down. Simeon Woodard was right there to meet him after a two-yard gain. Beautifully done by Simeon Woodard and a timeout called by South Dakota State with nine seconds left. That is some premier tackling right there. 
huge, huge tackle right there. Amar Johnson kind of had the angle of the sideline. Great job by Simeon of really chopping his legs out from underneath of him, forcing the Jackrabbits to call a timeout. At Firehouse Subs, a portion of every purchase helps provide much-needed life-saving equipment to first responders across the country. That's why at Firehouse Subs, they make their subs differently because their subs can make a difference. So final timeout for South Dakota State. Nine seconds left of the first half. Jackrabbits facing second and eight from their own 43-yard line. And so far, they have given up just 80 yards of offense against a team that was racking up 384 of them last year. Kronowski in there at quarterback, three receivers to the left, one to the right. Amar Johnson is running back to the right hash mark on second and eight. One, maybe two plays left. Snap, Kronowski looking to throw, looking left, nowhere to go. Clean pocket, rolls out to his left, still looking. Flag on the play, deep shot down the left sideline, incomplete. Whoa, Drew Polidor flying over there, knocking that thing away. Wally was out of bounds, but there's a flag on the play. I think there's some holding coming. One second on the clock. Holding. Offense, number 78, 10-year penalty, second down. John O'Brien, the right tackle with the hold. Either way, how about Drew Polidor? That, that would have never been completed, but for him to leap out there like that and get a fingertip on that football, that was an impressive play as South Dakota State presumably will probably kneel it down here. It just shows his athleticism. Phenomenal play. That's why he's starting for the Bobcats right now because of plays like that. Polidor converting from cornerback to safety. And now with the athleticism of Polidor and Ort, it allows the Bobcats to do a little bit more. And as a result, we saw Ort pick up his first career sack earlier today on a third down play. One second left of the first half. Montana State up 10 to nothing over the reigning national champion, South Dakota State Jackrabbits. They do line up a play here. Shotgun snap. They hand it off. Amar Johnson up the middle with a little bit of room. Oh, big time pop at the 40-yard line. Danny Louis Lakepa setting the tone in the middle of the field. And now a little hustle and tussle. They try to break it up. No flags. And that's how we're heading to halftime. Danny Louis Lakepa laying the boom. I love it. Danny U setting the tone going into the halftime break. That's the momentum for the Bobcats coming in here, going up 10 to 0. Pitching a shutout in the first half to the defending national champions. Number one on the line, Bobcats looking like the top team of the nation right now. Let's see if they can continue it for another 30 minutes as we head into halftime. But first, Dan Davies is down with Brent Vegan. Yeah, here with, here with Coach Vegan. How proud are you of your defense? You, you get a fumble, turn it into points, and, and then another three and out with your defense. Yeah, defense, it was about setting the tone on that. That turnover did it, and then beyond that, we're just, you know, turning, turning, getting after it and get going, 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 um, pin our ears back. And I like the way the guys look, the confidence we're playing with, but that had to be established, and it started with that, that first sequence on defense. And Brendan Hall's punt there right in the, late in his second quarter? Yeah, obviously we wanted to get that first down, but it was a, it was smart to punt, and Brendan makes it even smarter when he puts it inside the 10. So uh, that's just one half. Uh, I think we, you know, obviously won that first half. we got another half to go. Good momentum going into halftime. Good luck, Coach. Thanks, thanks. Guys, back to you. Thank you. Dan Davies down with head coach Brent Vegan. It's halftime. Montana State leads it over number one, South Dakota State. They're up 10 to nothing. You're listening to Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. Are you too hot? Are you too cold? Did you know that you don't have to just deal with it? We at Ambient Air Solutions understand how important comfort plays on your emotions, health, and quality of life on a daily basis. Ambient Air Solutions offers 24-7 emergency service for residential and commercial clients. We also offer financing to help ease the financial stress and burden of a lifelong investment. Call Ambient Air Solutions at 406-577-1818 and leave it to the professionals. Ambient Air Solutions, simplifying heating and cooling. Bridger Brewing is home to award-winning locally crafted beer and pizza and is proud to support all things Bobcat sports. Open 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily, last beer served at 8 p.m. and located right across from the Brick Breeden Fieldhouse. Stop by after the game today to enjoy a cold pint of beer and a slice of made-from-scratch delicious pizza. Dine-in service and online ordering for takeout are both available. Check out BridgerBrewing.com and at Bridger Brewing on Instagram and Facebook and stay tuned for updates on our newest adventure in Three Forks, Montana. When garage door issues happen, don't just call anybody. Call the pros at DoorTech. Our family-owned and operated business happily serves the Gallatin Valley. We install and service residential, commercial, and custom overhead doors and operators. With factory-trained and certified technicians, we're committed to quality, value, and long-term relationships. Call us at 582-1623 and let us help you with the solution to all your garage door needs. DoorTech is raising the door on quality. Your region's only premier authorized Rainer dealer. 
Bobcat Nation, Toyota has created a rewards program specifically for you. As part of the Toyota Rewards Program, you can win exclusive swag throughout the year along with receiving a premium giveaway in the mail each time you bring your vehicle in to be serviced at your local Montana Toyota dealers. To join the program, visit msubobcats.com slash Toyota Rewards to register. Toyota, proud to be a partner of Bobcat Athletics. It's halftime. Bobcats leading South Dakota State 10 to nothing, trying to take over potentially number one in the nation, but we'll see. First, you still got another second half to play, but we'll take a timeout. Montana State up 10 to nothing over South Dakota State at the half. You're listening to Bobcat Football, presented by Learfield. Did you know that Tyrama is home with a free oil change? When you buy three oil changes, the fourth one is on us. That's right. Buy three, get one absolutely 100% completely free. No catch, no exceptions, just free. Plus, we only use top quality products like Sitco to help extend your vehicle's engine life. Tyrama's got you covered. Find your neighborhood Tyrama and schedule your oil change appointment at Tyrama.com. Tyrama, more than just a tire store. For every adventure and every mishap, Bozeman Health provides expert, personalized care to each person. Going well beyond traditional health care, we're your partner in health and well-being, working together for your day today and the decades to come. With care sites in Belgrade, Big Sky, and Bozeman, and with the only hospitals in the Gallatin Valley, Bozeman Health keeps your care close to home. Find a Bozeman Health provider today at bozemanhealth.org. At Levitt Group Insurance, we believe that hard work, dedication, and teamwork are the keys to success. Levitt Group Insurance is proud to present the weekly Bobcat Impact Player of the Game. Each week, a player will be selected because they've proven that they have what it takes to be a game changer. Levitt Group Insurance will always work hard and change your insurance program to fit your needs to be a game changer for your business. To see how we can help you with your business, employee benefits, home and auto insurance, contact a Levitt Group Insurance office near you. Levitt Group Insurance, leaving nothing you value to chance. Bobcat fans, Lithia Dodge of Billings, Montana's number one new car dealer and proud partner of your Montana State Bobcats, has the new truck you've been looking for, in stock now and ready for immediate delivery. Come test drive a new 2023 Ram 1500 at Lithia Dodge of Billings. See why we're Montana's number one new car dealer. Based on 2020 and 2021 and 2022 new vehicle registration data. Montana Fence, located in Billings, Bozeman, Great Falls, and Kalispell, is Montana's largest fencing superstore. Get everything you need for your fencing projects at rock bottom pricing. Low prices on all styles of farm fence, chain link, vinyl privacy, ornamental iron, cedar pickets, continuous panels, wood privacy. We have it all. Quality materials at truckload prices. Let the experts at Montana Fence help you plan your next project. Whether you use our team or do it yourself, check out Montana Fence. What do you wear to work? It probably depends on what you do, but our guess is that you wear clothes. Because you wouldn't use a welding torch naked, or drive a forklift naked, or dunk potatoes in boiling oil naked, right? But if you're working without workplace safety, you might as well be naked. Cover up with a little help from Montana State Fund, Montana's first choice for workers' comp insurance. Workplace safety. You're naked without it. Learn more at safemt.com. Bobcat Football is brought to you by Bridger Brewing. Cheers to every journey being better than the last. And by Builders First Source, leading supplier of professional grade building materials. This is Bobcat Halftime. Back at Dana J. Dykow Stadium, the Bobcats have a lead at halftime over number one South Dakota State, Montana State leading. 10 to nothing. If the Bobcats score a touchdown during the fourth quarter at any home or away game during the regular season, four lucky fans will be selected to win a prize. Sign up today at msubobcats.com slash rav4, the number four. Montana State, number three in the nation. South Dakota State, number one in the nation. North Dakota State is number two. If Montana State were to win this game, still plenty of football left, would the Bobcats get pushed up to number one of the nation to be determined Last time they were number one was in 2011. They had a great year until they lost to the University of Montana at the end of losing that number one ranking. But they were the best team in the nation for the first half of this football game. Do they have another half in them as they pitch a shutout against the South Dakota State team that was putting up 34 points a game and 384 yards of offense in the first half today? 
for South Dakota State. Just 91 yards of offense, and uh, they have been held scoreless. Sean Chambers with one rushing touchdown today and a Conoco field goal kick from Brendan Hall. We'll get you a full rundown of the stats in a bit, but first we want to remind you that Kendall Ford Lincoln of Bozeman, from sales to service, our focus is making sure you get a great experience and a great deal. Stop by your Ford truck headquarters or visit KendallFordBozeman.com. Take a break, get you the full rundown of stats when we come back. Montana State leading 10 to nothing over South Dakota State in Brookings today at halftime. You're listening to Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. The Gallatin Valley is thriving, and Bozeman is not only a destination for families to live, work, and play, it's also a destination for businesses. The Bozeman Area Chamber of Commerce is a great way to get involved in Bozeman's thriving business community. The Bozeman Chamber Economic Partnership assists existing businesses through expansion, grows new companies in our community, and attracts fresh opportunities for Gallatin County. Bozeman, our community, a jewel among the Northern Rockies. For more information, go to bozemanchamber.com. Hi, former Bobcat and Lou Salcedo for Western Motors. Our team proudly supports MSU Bobcat football both on and off the field. I want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck for the season. Western Motors has spent the last 22 years serving Gallatin County and supporting over 40 local organizations. We have been recognized as the best in Bozeman and Gallatin's greatest several years running. As Montana's number one volume dealer, we are hired in all departments across eight of our dealerships. We have plenty of new and used inventory ready for purchase. Good luck, Bobcats. Western Motors, community born, community driven. While they're competing on the field, you are eating on the couch. They have one goal, you have one remote. They need a break from exercise. You might need some exercise. Get up and get Rosars ready for game day at the Rosars Red Zone in Bozeman. All the game day food you'll need to play quarterback, armchair quarterback, because if you're not eating, they're not winning. Get Rosars ready from Rosars Red Zone in Bozeman. It's the season of home improvement, and Williams Plumbing will help you tackle the big stuff. Are old roots clogging your sewer line? Williams has the tools to fix it. Have you checked your septic system lately? We have the knowledge and experience to maintain or repair it. Looking to install a yard hydrant? We'll do it promptly and professionally. Don't sweat the big stuff. Call Williams Plumbing today. When you're out of town. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by Montana State. Team numbers for Montana State, 152 yards of offense, 34 through the air, 118 rushing yards. South Dakota State, 91 yards, 51 through the air, 40 on the ground. Nine first interstate bank first downs for the Bobcats, seven for South Dakota State three penalties apiece on either side in that first half. Montana State, 20 minutes of possession, only 10 for South Dakota State as uh, they get ready to bid for some cows right now on the field. It is the beef bowl here at uh, Dana J. Dykehouse Stadium today. Individually, Tommy Malott, 6 for 6, 34 yards through the air. Also 10 carries for 40 yards from Malott. Sean Chambers, 7 carries, 36 yards and a town pump touchdown. Julius Davis, a nice day, 6 carries, 33 yards. Jared White, 2 carries, 7 yards. Scott Trey Humphrey, 1 carry for 2 yards. Julius Davis, 3 carries or three receptions for 14 yards. Cleveland Thomas Jr., 1 catch for 9. Snell, 1 for 6. Garrigan, 1 catch for 5. South Dakota State, Mark Gronowski, 7 of 12 through the air, 51 yards passing. Uh, Amar Johnson, 3 for 17 on the ground. Angel Johnson, 1 for 9 in terms of carries. Isaiah Davis, an All-American and a guy approaching 3,000 career rushing yards. Three carries for eight yards today. Mark Gronowski, six carries for six. And uh, Jackson Yonke leading the way with uh, three receptions and 28 yards. The only turnover today was a fumble by Mark Gronowski on the first drive of the game for the South Dakota State offense. That turned into the seven-point score for Sean Chambers and the Bobcats. As they continue their uh, cow auction, their beef bowl auction on the field, we take a break at halftime. Montana State leading South Dakota State 10 to nothing at the break. You're listening to Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. 
Want my tip for how to lower stress during fall prep? Head to Kohl's. I just went and found epic deals you don't want to miss that made getting ready for sweater weather so much better. I found super soft bath towels and pillows for just $3.99. Cute long sleeve tees for myself at $7.99. And shoes for my whole family at just under $35. Bucks. Plus, I earned Kohl's cash. So if you want to get what you need for low temperatures, low stress, and low prices, get to Kohl's. Select styles. Offers end September 10th. Some exclusions apply. See store or Kohl's.com for details. Found your dream home but dread having to move? Call Mesa Moving and Storage. We make moving fun. We work hard so you don't have to. We are here to help take the stress out of moving your home or business. If there's a move in your future, contact Mesa to handle the details so you can enjoy the experience. Mesa, the largest United Agency family in Montana, is ready to take care of all your moving and storage needs. Call the friendly folks at Mesa, 406-285-7033. Whoever said, good things come to those who wait, clearly never ordered in the McDonald's app. Just order ahead in the app, and you can pick up when you get here. Now football fans can score big, because on game day, get a 20-piece Chicken McNuggets for just $5 when you order ahead on the app. Now that's a W. Valid once per day through December 1st, 2023. I participate in McDonald's, must opt into rewards. Hello, tomorrow. We may not know exactly what you've got in store for us, for our routines and our normals. But here's the thing. Turns out, we've got this. We haven't seen everything, but we have seen ourselves be more ready for whatever you bring than we thought we would be. So when it comes to tomorrow, bring on the day. First Interstate, built for you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Visit us at firstinterstate.com. The Bozeman Come On In Hotel and Suites is a proud sponsor of MSU Athletics and the Montana State Alumni Association. The Come On In allows you to escape the ordinary while enjoying their numerous hotel and guest room amenities. Visit comeonin.com to book your stay today. At halftime, Montana State, number three in the nation, leads South Dakota State, number one in the nation. They're up 10 to nothing. All right, let's take a look at some of the other Big Sky scores today. Idaho leading Nevada up 17 to six on the road. Giovanni McCoy, 10 of 13 through the air, 218 yards and a touchdown in that first half as they try to take down the uh, Mountain West foe. Idaho State tied with Utah State, 7-7, nearing the end of the first quarter. Some of the finals today, Cal Poly lost to San Jose State, 59-3. Portland State loses to Wyoming, 31 31- to 17 northern arizona late push against north dakota but nau lost to north dakota 37 22 northern colorado lost to incarnate word 42 to 7 weaver state came from behind and defeats northern iowa they pitch a shutout in the second half they win 34 17 on the road against a perennial uh playoff team and then uc davis at oregon state later eastern washington at fresno state montana at utah tech Sac State hosting Texas A&M Commerce. Quick peek of some of the big national scores today. Appalachian State and North Carolina tied at 27 points apiece nearing the end of that fourth quarter with 30 seconds left. Oklahoma in the fourth quarter leading SMU 14 to 11. Texas over Alabama right now 13 to 3. Two minutes left in the second quarter. Oregon leading Texas Tech 15 to 3 late in the second quarter of that ball game. Wisconsin trailing on the road at Washington State, 14 to three late in the second quarter. Georgia rolls today, Ohio State rolls against FCS opponents, uh, so does Penn State. Notre Dame beats NC State, 45 to 24. Utah over Baylor today, 20 to 13. Colorado beats Nebraska, 36 to 14 today. And uh, that's uh, about the uh, most notable scores around the national landscape. All right, RJ, Bobcats have a 10-point lead at halftime. How are the boys feeling coming out of the locker room right now? You know, you got to be confident in yourself. I mean, it's a lot different story than it was last year in December. It's a lot warmer. Uh, they're playing a lot more confident, executing, moving the defensive line for the Jackrabbits, moving the offensive line for the Jackrabbits. The fronts are making a huge difference in this ball game. and if the Cats are going to come out victorious, you know, they got to keep punching it in the mouth because you got to knock the champ out. Uh, just keep those methodical drives going. Limit the Jackrabbits' ability to touch the football and limit mistakes. Turnover, free football, and the Cats will come out victorious.
Jack Urbitz are days, but they have not been knocked out yet as the Cats lead at halftime. And a quick peek ahead for Montana State, presented by Vance Thompson Vision, the official LASIK and cataract surgeon of the Montana State Bobcats. Next ball game for Montana State after this one is at home against Stetson on Saturday. A 1 p.m. kickoff will be on the air at noon for that one. We'll take a break. When we get back, we've got the start of the second half between Montana State and South Dakota State. Cats trying to score one of their biggest non-conference road victories in program history, up 10 to nothing over the Jackrabbits at the half. You're listening to Bobcat Football, presented by Learfield. At Montana State University, students shape signature experiences that take them across the state and into local communities. MSU is dedicated to its land-grant mission, integrating transformational learning, discovery, and service that improves lives. You'll find our students teaching across Montana, conducting research in the heart of Yellowstone National Park, or even creating small shelter prototypes to address homelessness. Montana State University. Think outside. Working from home has definitely put home projects into overdrive. New landscaping, gardens, patios, and fences. But if you're digging, you're contacting 811. Utility lines, including Northwestern Energies, can be buried even just a few inches underground, and hitting one can be dangerous. The best way to keep you, the community, and your contractor crew safe is by having lines properly marked. Make your request online at least two full business days before you want to dig at call811.com. From our 1946 roots, providing lumber for Yellowstone National Park, to our current headquarters in Bozeman, we at Simpkins Hallen believe in building the Gallatin Valley's future while continuing to honor its past. Contractors large and small benefit from our decades of experience and our extensive network of suppliers. We can source the materials you need, no matter the project. For all your building needs, go to where long-standing traditions have met with quality building products for over 75 years. Simpkins Hallen, a Montana tradition among builders since 1946. At Jersey Mike's, watching them freshly slice the meat and cheese for my sub is a sight to behold. The layers of ham, salami, and pepperoni are even more glorious than the pink and orange layers of a sunrise. Yeah, the sun's pretty and all that, but in about 7 billion years, it's going to explode, obliterating the earth and every living thing on it. And if there's no sun, there's no subs. Meanwhile, the only thing a sub ever obliterated was my hunger. Freshly sliced right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. Bobcat football is brought to you by Montana State University, Mountains and Mines, and by First Interstate Bank, built for you. Live from the First Interstate Bank broadcast booth, here's the voice of the Bobcats, Keaton Galogli. Getting ready to start the second half. Montana State trying to take down the reigning national champion, South Dakota State Jackrabbits. Montana State up 10 to nothing after a half of play. And we're going to go to the McDonald's delivery of the game after that first half. Going to the whole defense. They gave up just 91 yards of offense to the South Dakota State team that put up nearly 400 yards of offense per game. Brendan Hall delivers this kickoff heading it toward the end zone, and it is out of the back of the end zone. He's still 100% on touchbacks in his first game and a half with Montana State. Dan Davies is our eyes on the sideline. Dan, what are you seeing? What are you looking for here in the second half? I think there's a lot of confidence on this Bobcat sideline right now going into halftime after that Danny Yu hit right before half. Uh, you know, Coach Vegan was fired up. You could just tell he was breathing heavy. He was ready to get in there and talk to his guys. And I guarantee you, these guys are ready for a three and out here on Bobcat defense. Boy, this defense right now, after getting, frankly, embarrassed in that last game, have stood up tall today, and they have been the star of the show in Brookings. South Dakota State with the first snap of the second half. Takes it, turns, hands off to Amar Johnson, cuts back left. He's got a little bit of room around a block of the 30-yard line. He gets to the left sideline, cuts back right at the numbers, and he's finally pushed out of bounds at the 50 up to the 49-yard line in plus territory. The quarterback, Mark Granowski, with a big block on the outside and a huge gashing play. Biggest play of the game by either side up to this point had been 10 yards. That one goes for a solid 26. A little bit of miscommunication there. Uh, guy's not fitting the right gaps for the Bobcats right there. Good penetration by Blake Schmidt, but even better job by the Jackrabbits getting out. Amar Johnson breaks a few tackles. Huge gain uh, to start the second half. Puts him up at the 49-yard line in plus territory. South Dakota State with the football, still looking for their first score of the day, down 10 to nothing. Shotgun snap. 
fakes the handoff. Gronowski fires over the middle. That is caught for a first down. Wilde, the freshman, making the catch on a slant up to the 35-yard line for another 15-yard gain. Yeah, just an RPO right there. Rylan Ort, that's who he's reading. That's who Gronowski's reading. Rylan Ort kind of sucked down a little bit on the run fake, as most safeties would with this Jackrabbit offense. Delivers a strike. First down for the Jackrabbits. Two biggest plays of the game for the offense on the Jackrabbits side. And it sets them up at the 35-yard line in plus territory. 13.40 to go in the second or the third quarter. Montana State leading 10 to nothing. Jackrabbits driving. Snap. Gronowski fakes the handoff, pitches it on an end around. Here comes Jackson Yonke. He gets to the 30-yard line and up near the 25-yard line. A yard shy of the first down marker. Nine-yard gain. Second and one. Yeah, it was a really creative play by the Jackrabbits right there. But it really was a really good play by John Johnson of, you know, getting around two or three offensive linemen because for a second there it looked like the Jackrabbits were going to break it towards the end zone. Good job of kind of limiting it to a nine-yard gain. Keeps the defense on the field. So South Dakota State finding some offensive rhythm. We knew it would be coming at some point, and they are punching back after getting days in the first half. Pistol formation, second and one, snap. Gradowski keeps it looking to throw. Fires over the right side. That is caught. Sliding catch near that right sideline by Graham Goring. No, are they going to say it touched the ground? Incomplete. Did not make the catch. Looked good from up here, but apparently snuck in there, and it did catch the turf. Incomplete. Yeah, Third looked, one. Looked like a pretty good throw by Gronowski right there. They might challenge that one after looking at the video board. It was pretty close to being a catch. I sure hope that they don't review this play because it's going to be close. Yep, they're going to review it. This review brought to you by Les Schwab. At First Interstate, it's about supporting our communities and cheering on our teams. Thank you for letting us be your trusted community bank for more than 50 years. First Interstate Bank, built for you, member FDI. They're taking a look at things right now, and a big drive for South Dakota State. Four plays, 49 yards, and we'll see uh, how this turns out. Could be another first down for South Dakota State, but Jimmy Rogers, the head coach for South Dakota State, making some big adjustments, and it's paid off on the first offensive drive of the second half. Yeah, there's a reason they're the number one team in the country, defending national champions. We knew this wasn't going to be an easy game for the Bobcats. We knew at some point the Jackrabbits were going to strike back both offensively and defensively. They started off the second half, put together some good plays. They, you know, the coach is going at halftime. They script up some new plays. They script some plays. So these are, you know, five or six plays that they saw that they could get against this defense. So that's something to take note of. As the things start to settle down a little bit, we might go back and start to see this Bobcat defense settle back in. So they did take a look at it, and they rule it an incompletion. So now third and one up at the 26-yard line, and a colossal third down coming up with South Dakota State knocking on the door of the red zone. Bobcats were doing a nice job getting off the field on third down in that first half. Pistol formation, here's the snap. Gronowski hands it off, Isaiah Davis running left, trying to get to the outside, turns up field to numbers, and he's out of bounds, but he picked up the first down as he uses the big stiff arm on John Johnson. That draws the big roar from the crowd, but a first down up to the 17 yard line into the red zone for South Dakota State. Jack Rabbit starting to get a little bit of swagger. You see Mason McCormick, kind of the lead of that swagger on that offensive line, pointing for a first down for the Jack Rabbits. McCade had an opportunity to bring down the ball carrier and Isaiah Davis just missed. You know, the Jack Rabbits are driving. Let's see if the Bobcats can't hold them to the field goal. First trip into the red zone tonight for South Dakota State. Two backs in the backfield. That's Davis and Amar Johnson. Gronowski on the left hash mark, first and 10 from the 17 yard line. Now Omar Johnson rolling out to the right. We got a whistle and a flag and a false start coming up for South Dakota State. Things are going to start getting a little chippy here. False start. Offense, number 60. Five-yard penalty. First down. We saw Davis and John Johnson going back and forth. Now the linemen on both sides starting to jaw back and forth. This has been a pretty classy rivalry, but uh, it's starting to heat up a little bit now. Well, anytime you play a team three times in the last 18 games, <laughs> Things are going to get a little bit chippy. You start seeing the same guys. You know, you learn their first names. Sometimes <laughs> you learn a little bit about their family or, or someone else they know. So things get a little personal down there on the on this field and on the sidelines. Yeah, Instagram is a hell of a wealth of knowledge. 
First and 15 now, backed up out of the red zone. Here's the snap, turns, hands it off. Working to his right, Isaiah Davis, nowhere to go. And Drew Polidor is there with the tackle up at the 19, possibly the 20-yard line. Not much room on the outside. No, there wasn't, and that was a great play by Mikado O'Reilly. Even though he didn't make the tackle right there, really strung it out, allowed the defense, allowed the Bobcats to, you know, really come in there. Drew Polidor coming in late. You know, a whole slew of Bobcats coming in to make the tackle. Credit to Mikado O'Reilly, really good football player. You know, first positive play for this Bobcat defense in the second half. Mikado O'Reilly's getting a lot of snaps out there tonight. He's out there with Nolan Askelson. We've seen Askelson and Louis, Louis Lakepa uh, circle through. It's really been three uh, three linebackers working, and now uh, uh, Mikado O'Reilly's out of the outside. Here's a snap. Gronowski, design run, going to his right. He breaks free, he's headed to the end zone, and he's in for a touchdown. A 20-yard rushing touchdown from Mark Gronowski and South Dakota State able to get up off the schneid, and they score a touchdown on their first drive of the second half, and it takes just over four minutes to do so. Really good play design right there. Design QB run all the way, getting the big offensive lineman, pulling out to the boundary. Not a lot of defense there for the Bobcats. They had a chance to bring him down, but were unfortunately unable to do so. The Jackrabbits strike to start the second half, and things are getting a little tight. Uh, not too surprised. Gronowski cramping up a little bit after that. He's getting stretched out of the sidelines by one of the trainers, and the PAT attempt here from Hunter Dustman is due. This kick is up, and that kick is good, and that continues a long streak. That's 133 consecutive point afters for South Dakota State kickers over the last couple of years. That makes it 10 to 7 early in the third quarter. We're going to take a break. Montana parents know parenting isn't easy. ParentingMontana.org provides you with a way to build the skills your child needs to be successful. ParentingMontana.org, tools for your child's success. We got a ball game. Bobcats will receive the kick when we come back. 10.49 to go in the third quarter. Bobcats 10, Jackrabbit 7. You're listening to Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. Did you know that Southwest Montana has one of the highest per capita hot tub usage rates in the world? See what your friends and neighbors already know. How great it feels to soak under the big sky. Mountain Hot Tub has helped more friends and families relax in hot water than anyone in Montana. New hot tubs starting at less than $5,000. When you're ready to relieve stress and save money at the same time, come see us at the corner of Huffine and Gooch Hill. Mountain Hot Tub, since 1979. Bridger Brewing is home to award-winning locally crafted beer and pizza and is proud to support all things Bobcat sports. Open 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily, last beer served at 8 p.m. and located right across from the Brick Breeden Fieldhouse. Stop by after the game today to enjoy a cold pint of beer and a slice of made-from-scratch delicious pizza. Dine-in service and online ordering for takeout are both available. Check out BridgerBrewing.com and at Bridger Brewing on Instagram and Facebook and stay tuned for updates on our newest adventure in Three Forks, Montana. The Gallatin Valley is thriving, and Bozeman is not only a destination for families to live, work, and play, it's also a destination for businesses. The Bozeman Area Chamber of Commerce is a great way to get involved in Bozeman's thriving business community. The Bozeman Chamber Economic Partnership assists existing businesses through expansion, grows new companies in our community, and attracts fresh opportunities for Gallatin County. Bozeman, our community, a jewel among the Northern Rockies. For more information, go to bozemanchamber.com. 10.49 to go in the third quarter. Montana State leading 10-7 over South Dakota State. Jackrabbits just completed a seven-play, 75-yard drive that took four minutes, 11 seconds off the clock. They had a number of big plays, and it was capped by the Mark Kurnowski 20-yard touchdown run. And now Montana State will receive their first kickoff of the second half. Hunter Dustman approaches the football on the left, hash mark his right-footed kick, a sideways winding kick, just bounces into the end zone. Boy, he almost kick that out of bounds and Montana State will take over at their own 25 yard line well Dan that was quite the punch landed by South Dakota State in the first half not a huge surprise but this is what a number one team looks like yeah no question about it and it'll be up to the Bobcats to answer here a little bit uh, flinch a little bit on that drive defensively but Bobcat offense needs to pick up the slack right here and answer back and Montana State's going to get to the promised land this year it's going to be on the back of their offense and 
Now it's another opportunity for this offense to go to work, starting at their own 25-yard line. Tommy Mallott in the pistol formation with Julius Davis behind him. Two receivers spread out to the right side. That's Anaya and Thomas. Here's the snap. Fakes the handoff. Mallott rolling out to his right, looking to throw. He will tuck it, runs along the right hash mark, and is tackled at the 30-yard line after a hardy five-yard gain. Yeah, it was it was a QB rollout right there, but Coach Udy, he's very upset on the sideline. Cleveland Thomas was obviously held right there, had a little bit of a move on the defensive back there, was going to be wide open for about a 20-yard gain, but they held him, and, and quite frankly, they missed him. And now Coach Vegan, he, he's pretty upset as well. He's working a couple officials. Quick Bozeman health injury timeout for a member of the Jackrabbits. I think somebody's starting to cramp up. Well, it's, it's not five degrees, and all of a sudden, you know, everybody's starting to cramp up. <laughs> yeah, I think last year we kind of, I mean, actually, when it is cold out, you do got to drink more water, actually, because your body, believe it or not, it, it loses more energy. I don't know. Brittany Pater, nutritionist, <laughs> she, she was always on us. You got to drink more water. You got to drink more water. We're like, it's cold out. I don't want to drink cold water, but you have to do it. You know, we come down to a crucial drive right here, though. All right, we're taking a break. 10.29 to go in the third quarter. Montana State leading South Dakota State 10-7. to You're listening to Bobcat Football, presented by Learfield. For all of your tree and lawn care needs, turn to Arbor Medic Tree and Lawn Care, a proud sponsor of MSU Athletics. Arbor Medic Tree and Lawn Care provides outstanding service for your landscape for pruning, removals, stump grinding, tree moving, plant health care, and all of your landscaping maintenance needs. Check out Arbor Medic Tree and Lawn Care. Wade Dooley Certified Arborist. Hey, Montana State football fans, get ready for some great football this season. One, two, three. It starts with filling your tank with Conoco gasoline to get you to every home and away game. Why? Because we love the Bobcats as much as you do. So hop in your car and go cheer them on. Don't forget to download and use the My Conoco app to save. Conoco. Choose Go. Proud sponsor of the Montana State Bobcats. Hello, tomorrow. We may not know exactly what you've got in store for us, for our routines and our normals. But here's the thing. Turns out, we've got this. We haven't seen everything, but we have seen ourselves be more ready for whatever you bring than we thought we would be. So when it comes to tomorrow, bring on the day. First Interstate, built for you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Visit us at firstinterstate.com. Bobcats up 10-7 with a football, 10 and a half to play in the third quarter, facing second and four from their own 31-yard line. Malat in the pistol formation takes the snap. He hands it off. Julius Davis pushing the pile. No, it was a play action, and the pass is tipped. Derek Snell made the catch, but he was out of bounds. But there is a flag on the play. It was a play action. Julius Davis looked like he was pushing the pile, and then that pass personal foul. Roughing the passer. Oh. Defense number 29. It's near penalty. Automatic first down. Wow, big turn of events. I really thought Davis had that football. <laughs> uh, I did too, but. The man, the myth, the legend from Butte, Montana. He pulls that thing and, and somehow, you know, gets a 15-yard gain by the Bobcats. Derek Stell almost came down with that thing as well. So uh, roughing the passer didn't see the replay. I mean, look, it, it was probably late because it was after the replay. I'm sure the defender took at least two steps to hit him after he threw that football away. So first and 10 up to the 45-yard line. Montana State trying to put together a drive here and respond. South Dakota State scored on their opening drive of the third quarter. Catch up 10-7. Trying to put themselves at the top of the football mountain early in the season. Pistol snap. Turns hands off to the left side. Julius Davis cuts back right, up along the right hash marks. He dives forward for an eight-yard gain. Second and two coming up into plus territory. Great job by Julius right there. He's just kind of chasing the hip of the center right there, chases the wall, follows his offense alignment, does a nice little cut back there, solid eight-yard gain to get things going. Brings up a second and manageable. That was eight yards behind his vision. Didn't take strength, didn't take athleticism. He just saw that thing the whole way. Pistol formation, second and short. Two receivers to the left. The snap turns to his right, hands it off. Julius Davis met at the line of scrimmage, and he's stood up there. No gain. Third down and very short coming up. Great pursuit by the Jackrabbit defensive line right there. That was Jared DePriest. Good job by him coming off 
flying down there, bringing down Julius for a zero yard gain. Brings up a huge, this is a huge play in this football game. The Cats need to need to convert. They're bringing in Sean Chambers and, and that's probably for a good reason. Chambers the quarterback, Malott lined up as a wide receiver out to the right side. Thomas the slot left side, Anaya on the outside there. Snell on the left side of the line as the tight end. Up next near Trayton Pickering. Third and two, high snap. Chambers keeps it, runs up the middle, dives forward, and he's got the first down. So the Bobcats needed two. They picked them both up. First Interstate Bank, first down for Montana State. There's your ringer, Sean Chambers, coming in off the bench. Well, we talk about, you know, cramming it sometimes when you don't see anything right there. Funny enough, that play call, it is called cram right there. Everyone's just kind of crashing down there, a little inside zone. Sean Chambers, design QB run, does a good job of getting the first down, moving the six. Town Pump, the exclusive sponsor of the exciting Brawl of the Wild, invites you to visit a Town Pump store on your way home for gas and snacks. Safe travels from Town Pump. Chambers still in there at quarterback. Tommy Malott, the halfback. Thomas to the right. Two tight ends, a wide receiver spread out to the left side. First and 10 for the 45-yard line. The snap, they hand it off. No, he kept it, trying to keep up the middle. Nowhere to go, no gain. They take the handoff to Tommy Malott, who's a little slow getting up hobbling and limping with favoring that right foot after he was tackled without the football and Sean Chambers stopped to the line of scrimmage. You know, great pursuit by the Jackrabbit defense right there. Coach Jimmy Rogers, he preaches that. He preaches the Jackrabbits hustling of the football, but a great job by Sean Chambers not taking a loss there, getting back to the line of scrimmage. A lot, little hobbled there, but staying out there. Sean Chambers headed back to the uh, sideline. Thomas to the right, Anaya to the left. Julius Davis in the pistol formation behind Tommy Mallott. Cats facing second and 10 at the 45-yard line in plus territory, leading by three early in the third quarter. Snap, hands off to his right. Davis runs up the right hash mark, and he's able to get up to the 39-yard line. A four-yard gain, third and manageable coming up. Good solid gain by the Cats right there. Brings up a third and manageable. Great pursuit by the Jackrabbits. We're probably looking at four down territory right here. Let's see what the Bobcats call. They might be setting up something just in case they have to go for it on fourth down. Brent Vegan and offensive line coach Al Johnson getting into a heated conversation on the sideline right now. Montana State trying to convert on another third down. A sellout getting loud to the top teams across the nation in a dogfight right now. Bobcats up 10-7. Sean Chambers, the quarterback. No Malad on this play. Shotgun snap. Chambers keeps it, met by a defensive tackle in the backfield, and he's dropped immediately for a two-yard loss. Fourth down coming up. Bobcats will have to punt. Really good play right there by the Jackrabbits. Forces a punt for the Bobcats. You know, phenomenal stop by the Jackrabbits right there. Brian Williams really does a good job of evading the block right there, getting the Bobcats down for a loss, forcing the punt. That's a tough, you know, first drive for this Bobcat offense. Let's see if we can't pit him deep just like we did at the end of the second or the first half seven plays 33 yards really the the biggest play of that drive was the personal foul roughing the passer that converted a first down so brendan hall dialing it up here's the snap hall puts the ball in the air heading toward that right corner near the numbers and it lands at the five bouncing around and it stopped there another picture perfect punt as some pushing and shoving occurs at the end of that play but there is no flag We'll take a break. South Dakota State will start deep in their own territory at their own five-yard line when we come back. 5.55 to go in the third quarter. Montana State up 10-7 to over South Dakota State. You're listening to Bobcat, Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. Bobcat fans, support both your favorite team and Montana State students. When you shop at MSU Bookstores, you help lower the price of course materials for Montana State students. MSU Bookstore is owned by MSU students and faculty and serves as the only not-for-profit campus bookstore in Montana. Shop online at msubookstore.org, at Bobcat Stadium on game days, or on campus in the Strand Union Building. Remember, Bobcat fans, when you shop at MSU Bookstore, all proceeds from your purchase go directly to lowering the cost of course materials for Montana State students. Bobcat football is finally here, and the Ridge Athletic Clubs are ready for a great season at the Ridge. We offer a beautiful facility with a basketball complex, group exercise studios with over 200 weekly classes, a pool, safe and fun child care, new functional fitness spaces, large comfortable locker rooms, and the best way in Bozeman to bring your fitness to the next level. Stop by for a tour after a game and see why the Ridge has been Bozeman strong for more than 20 years. Go Bobcats! 
The Rocking R Bar is your home for everything Bobcat football. Whether the cats are home or away, we are your game day headquarters. Swing by for great food specials like the Sunny Holland Burger from our new grill, Hail Mary's. We also serve the best Montana craft beer and liquor the state has to offer. So grab a pint, something to eat, and one of our very own Rocking R Bar liquors because it's a great time to be a Bobcat at the Rocking R Bar. South Dakota State taking over deep in their own end zone. Let's pause 10 seconds for our network station identification. This is Bobcat Football. XL Country, 100.7. KXLB Churchill, Bozeman, Belgrade. Also in Livingston on Translator K254AL. South Dakota State takes the snap. Turns hands off to his left. Isaiah Davis with room right up the middle. Tackled from behind after a... 10-yard gain, 15-yard gain, up to the 21-yard line. 5.40 to go in the third quarter. Montana State up 10-7 over South Dakota State, but the Jackrabbits just scored on their last drive, their first of the second half, and they open up this drive with now an officially 16-yard rush from Isaiah Davis. You know, the momentum's starting to shift a little bit in the Jackrabbits' favor. The Bobcat defense has got to, you know, toughen up here. they got to stop this Jackrabbit offense. This is a pivotal drive in the ball game. Cats up by three, nearing the end of the third quarter, but South Dakota State has figured something out on the offensive end. Shotgun snap, hands it off, running to his right. Isaiah Davis trying to get to the outside, turns upfield the numbers, and dives forward near the 30-yard line. Another big eight-yard gain or, or so. Eh, they're going to say he's out of bounds at the 29-yard line, but still another big gashing gain by Isaiah Davis. Yeah, good play by the Jackrabbits. Looks like we got a little bit of a different personnel package out there. We got three linebackers in the game. We got Nolan, Danny, you, and McCade all out there. So maybe that's something to, you know, bolster up this run defense a little bit. Seymour and Greeby on to the defensive line. Caden Dowler checking in right now for Louis Lakepa to join O'Reilly and Askelson in the middle of the field for the Bobcat defense. Remember, Miles Jackson out at cornerback. John Johnson's had the start. He's had a big game at the cornerback position. Second and two, shotgun snap, pitch into Isaiah Davis in the backfield, runs up the numbers on the right side, spins forward and gets up to the 40-yard line, and that's another big gain, put him up at the yep the 40-yard line. Another first down for South Dakota State. They're getting whatever they want on the ground now. Yeah, that was a really slick play design. You have Isaiah Di Davis coming in motion, a little flip pass to towards him, coming towards the sideline. Good job by Ryland Ort coming down there, making the tackle on him, but the Jackrabbits got all the momentum right now. Yeah, the tackling's been shorthanded. It's just they haven't been able to get to the ball carry until after seven or eight yards. First and ten up to the 40-yard line for the Jackrabbit offense. Amar Johnson is the running back from the right hash mark. Shotgun snap to Kurnowski. He fires into the flat. Johnson makes the catch of the numbers on the right side, cuts back left toward the hash, gets upfield on the right hash mark, and he's got another first down. That one should have been stopped a little bit earlier, but another big first down for South Dakota State into Bobcat territory. Yeah, great throw by Kurnowski, just getting it out to Amar Johnson, get it out to your playmakers. Nolan missed the tackle a little bit right there. Tough move right there by Amar to, to shake the defense and, and get a really positive gain for the Jackrabbits. They're, they're really just getting chunks down the football field right now. The Bobcats, they got to swell up. Serving all your garage door needs, DoorTech is raising the door on quality. First and 10 for South Dakota State, three minutes to go in the third quarter. Gronowski under center now in Bobcat territory. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Steps up, he is sacked in the backfield with a flag on the play. Three Bobcats were there. Schmidt, Seymour, and Valdez all teaming up. Holding offense, number 87, 10-yard penalty. First down. Boy, the Bobcats needed that. That was a huge play. Good pass rush by Danny Hugh coming off the edge. A little matchup on a tight end in Zach Hines. He's an NFL-type prospect, but Danny Hugh, great pass rush move. You worked that with Coach Bobby Daly weekly. Great job getting a, some pressure on there, getting a sack. 253 remaining in the third quarter. Backs the football up to the 43-yard line in South Dakota State territory. I think they accepted that penalty to make it first and 20. They did. So here we go. First and 20 now. The snap. Gronowski keeps it, running to his left behind the fullback, and he's tackled quickly. Mikado Riley was right there. Well, Mikado Riley getting a lot of playing time right now, and that was a good, clean tackle up to the 50-yard line, three-yard gain, second and 17 for South Dakota State. 
Mikado O'Reilly, phenomenal football player. The guy knows how to play football. Comes from a pipeline in his family. They all have played football. You know, you got Grant Collins, you got Shane Collins, you got Callahan, you got his older brother Peyton who played at Miami, Ohio. So they know how to play football in the O'Reilly family. And some of the cousin sisters are great athletes as well. Good genes, as they say, and it's showing up here against the number one team of the nation. Under two minutes in the third quarter. Here's the snap. Gronowski pumps, throws, tipped. Oh, almost intercepted. That's incomplete. Oh, he had two hands on the rock. Rylan Ort almost took it away. If he had, he had a clear path to the end zone. But either way, now third and 17 There's coming up. There's a flag here right on the 40-yard line. Before the pass, holding defense, number four. Ten-yard penalty, automatic first down. Big penalty there. That, that's a killer right there. You go from a potential pick six or a third and 17 to a first round, first down for the Jackrabbits. Tough momentum killer for the Bobcats. Right when the Bobcat D started to find some footing. Mountain Cold Refreshment made to chill. 2023 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado, celebrate responsibly. 149 left in the third quarter. Montana State up 10-7 to over South Dakota State. But the Jackrabbits start to have what they want offensively in this third. First and 10 from the 39-yard line in plus territory. Shotgun snap. He'll keep it. Gradowski throws low incomplete to Jackson Yonke on a 13-yard slant. Second down and 10. And that's one of their favorite play calls. They like to split... One of the Yankee twins out wide, a little bit of an RPO, pulling the linebacker's eyes down with two offensive linemen pulling to the field. Just just really all he's doing, Mark Gronowski is doing, he's just reading the linebackers. If they come down, he's going to throw it out to the receiver right there. Just a little bit of a mis-execution by the Jackrabbits. Gronowski, 10 of 17 for 93 yards through the air, did score the 20-yard rushing touchdown earlier, the only touchdown of the game for the Jackrabbits. Second and 10, shotgun or pistol snap. Hands it off, Isaiah Davis shuffling left up the middle. He pushes the pile forward, shy of the first down marker, up to the 33-yard line, six-yard gain, third and four, and now another massive third down coming up. Schmidt and Greeby into the offensive line to join Iden and Valdez. Yeah. Remember, guys, this, this drive started at their own five-yard line, so this is a massive uh, time of the game right here with a minute 17 left in the third. Starting to feel like it's all hanging in the balance now. The Bobcats were pretty quiet on their first offensive touch of the second half. Again, third and four officially up at the 33-yard line. Here's the snap. He will hand it off. Isaiah Davis in traffic up the middle. Picked up right at that first down marker, and he's got it. Up to the 29-yard line and slightly beyond. First down for South Dakota State. That's a big-time conversion for the Jackrabbits. Yeah, big-time conversion. Good pit push by the Jackrabbit offensive line, you know, you have five returning offensive linemen. They're starting to lead on this Bobcat defense. You know, you can bend, not break right here if you're the Bobcats. If you can hold them to a field goal, you know, it's still a tie ball game. But they got to they gotta start making some plays on defense. Montana State trying to get off the field defensively. First and 10 up at the 27-yard line for South Dakota State. Trailing 10-7 to at home on their blackout game. Shotgun snap. Gronowski hands it off, Isaiah Davis cutting to the left hash mark, picks up a couple of yards, pushes it forward further up to the 21, given the 20 yard line, seven yard gain, second and three coming up, and that should be the final play of this third quarter. Bridger Brewing is home to award winning locally crafted beer and pizza. Bridger Brewing, cheers to every adventure being better than the last. Interwest Moving and Storage is the official moving company of the MSU Bobcats. We're heading to the fourth quarter in a heavyweight fight. Montana State leads South Dakota State 10 to seven, but the Jackrabbits are driving. They're into the red zone with a second down and short coming up after this timeout. You're listening to Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. Are you too hot? Are you too cold? Did you know that you don't have to just deal with it? We at Ambient Air Solutions understand how important comfort plays on your emotions, health, and quality of life on a daily basis. Ambient Air Solutions offers 24-7 emergency service for residential and commercial clients. We also offer financing to help ease the financial stress and burden of a lifelong investment. Call Ambient Air Solutions at 406-577-1818 and leave it to the professionals. Ambient Air Solutions, simplifying heating and cooling. 
At Firehouse Subs, a portion of every purchase helps provide much-needed life-saving equipment to first responders across the country. That's why at Firehouse Subs, they make their subs differently, because their subs can make a difference. Their family of restaurant owners and local crews are proud to continue to serve you the hot, hearty, life-saving subs you crave every day. In fact, it's never been easier to grab their subs to go with Rapid Rescue to go. Save time when you order online at firehousesubs.com or on their app. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. From ATVs to heavy RVs, the 2023 Chevy Silverado provides everything you need for a long day of towing. With proven technologies like trailer sway control, hill start assist, and auto grade braking. You'll also get the capability to work smarter, not harder, with the available multi-flex tailgate. Offering six different functions to help improve loading, unloading, and accessing the cargo bed. Check out the legendary Silverado at your Montana Chevy dealers. Proud sponsors of your Montana State Bobcats. Montana Farm Bureau, the grassroots voice of agriculture, advocating for farmers and ranchers across our state and leading Montana toward a future with a prosperous agricultural economy and thriving rural communities. Join us at mfbf.org. Go Bobcats. We're heading to the fourth. Montana State leading 10-7 over South Dakota State, but the Jackrabbits have second and three coming up in the red zone there at the 20-yard line. And Dan, this is a South Dakota State offense that seems to have really figured something out here in the second half. Yeah, I think uh, the offensive line for South Dakota State probably uh, had to listen to their offensive line coach and their head coach at halftime. They uh, got their ears pinned back and are able to create some seams for their, obviously, uh, Isaiah Davis for the Jackrabbits. Isaiah Davis now up to 10 carries for 62 yards. He's been a beast in the second half so far. RJ, how did the Bobcats stop the bleeding? You know, it's, it's really going to come down to the defensive front. I mean, Blake Schmidt, Sebastian Valdez, they're going to have to, you know, plug those holes. they got to do a good job at, at safety and linebacker, really making those tackles, turning those seven, eight-yard gains into two- or three-yard gains. And, you know, what more can you want? The number one team versus the number three team, sold-out crowd, coming down to it in the fourth quarter. Let's go. I mean, I'm fired up for these guys. It, it's going to be... A fun finish here in Brookings, South Dakota. 19,332, the announced attendance say that's actually eight shy of a sellout. Very, very close. They needed eight more people for a sellout. It's loud, though. It's rocking. And uh, right now, Jackrabbit Nation is riding high. They've got the momentum, but down 10-7 as we start the fourth quarter. Second and three snap from the 20-yard line. He gives it to Amar Johnson, trying to push forward, and he does pick up that first down up to the 16-yard line. And South Dakota State pretty methodical on the ground right now, up to over 150 yards of rushing. You know, the Jackrabbits are just kind of doing whatever they want to do in the second half in terms of running the football. They came out with a good game plan to kind of attack the weaknesses of this Bobcat defense, and so far they're executing. Can the Cats hold the Rabbits? to a field goal here. Jackrabbits up to the 16 yard line with a fresh set of downs. Isaiah Davis is the back who's been hot in the third quarter. Snap, Gronowski will keep it, looking to throw, firing toward the end zone, caught, touchdown. Zach Hines makes the snag over Ryland Ort. That was a heck of a pass and catch, 16 yard strike, and for the first time tonight, South Dakota State is on top after that touchdown pass. Yeah, that's what the Jackrabbits are trying to do in the red zone. They're trying to isolate those big tight ends. I know last year they had Tucker Kraft, who was kind of their seam guy, but Zach Hines did a really good job in a one-on-one situation with Rylan Ort, and a, a strike was delivered to him, and he made the play, and, and now the Jackrabbits are in the lead. Looked like Rylan Ort was right there. That was quite the pass from Gronowski. He really hasn't had a great day through the air, but he delivered when it counted, and the Jackrabbits have taken their first lead. 45 seconds into the fourth quarter. Here's the snap of the PAT. Ooh, a little off the mark, but they were able to get it down. And it is no good. No good. Miss the PAT. The first point after miss in 133 tries by four different place kickers for South Dakota State. An absolutely massive miss. That's a broadcaster's jinx right there. But that could come down huge Coming down the stretch in the fourth quarter here, now it's only a three-point game as opposed to a four. All right, we're taking a break. Montana State trailing 13-10 to 10 against South Dakota State, 14 minutes, 15 seconds to go in the ballgame. You're listening to Bobcat Football, presented by Learfield. 
Hey, Bobcat fans. If you're planning a building project, Builders First Source can help. If you're building a garage, a shed, a pole, a barn, or even an entire home, Builders First Source can assist with the design materials, delivery, and so much more. No project is too big or too small. Builders First Source expertise can transform your vision into a dream come true. Builders First Source is a leading supplier of professional-grade building materials and a proud supporter of Bobcat Athletics. Find one of 10 Montana locations at buildersfirstsource.com. And go Bobcats! First West Insurance, a Montana-born company, has been helping friends and neighbors protect what they love most since 1972. From home and businesses to farm and ranch to life and health insurance, our team is dedicated to finding solutions that work for you. We believe in creating relationships as deep as our Montana roots. First West, your local insurance agency. Bobcat fans, with the Adage of Billings, Montana's number one new car dealer and proud partner of your Montana State Bobcats, has the new truck you've been looking for, in stock now and ready for immediate delivery. Come test drive a new 2023 Ram 1500 at Lithia Dodge of Billings. See why we're Montana's number one new car dealer. Based on 2020 and 2021 and 2022 new vehicle registration data. Fourteen minutes, fifteen seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Montana State now trailing thirteen to ten against South Dakota State after an eleven play, ninety-five yard drive that lasted six minutes forty seconds. But South Dakota State missed their first PAT since twenty twenty one. The spring of twenty twenty one keeps it a three point game. Here's the kickoff from Hunter Dustman down the middle of the field. Marquis Johnson will make the catch on the right hash mark and will return. Johnson up the middle of the field. He's got a little bit of room. Here goes Marquis Johnson. Marquis Johnson to the right numbers, working his way toward the sideline, and he shoves a man forward as he gets to the 40-yard line. Marquis Johnson, a big-time 60-yard return, just what the Bobcats needed. Huge play right there. Great job by the special teams right there. All you got to do is give Marquis Johnson a chance. He's a game changer. Huge play, plus 50 possession. Bobcats get a little bit of momentum back. That's a huge, big-time play. Finishes with an authority, too. Gets the Bobcat sideline fired up, back into it. Can this Bobcat offense get going? Tommy Mallott was limping a little bit earlier. Sean Chambers is into the ball game right now. Up to the 41-yard line in plus territory. Pistol formation, three receivers left. And flags fly. Another mistake by the Bobcat offensive line. They pick up all that momentum, and then a penalty. Ball start, offense, number 76, five-yard penalty, first down. Malat is on the sideline and has his helmet on, so hopefully it's not an injury-related decision, it's just a personnel decision. The Bobcats go to work now, facing first and 15. Back it up to the 46-yard line after the false start by Montana State. Three receivers to the left. Julius Davis, the halfback in the pistol formation. Shotgun snap. Chambers hands it off. Davis runs into a wall at the line of scrimmage. Nowhere to go. Picked up one yard. Make it two. Just nothing there. This Jackrabbit defensive front is really getting some pushback on the Montana State offensive line. They're doing a good job of plugging those holes that were there in the first half. Those runs that were 2-3 that were starting to get up to 7 are back down to 2-3 or three yard gains. Uh, let's see if the Bobcats can't get something rolling here because this is a huge, huge possession in this ball, ball game. Montana State scored the first 10 points in the first half. South Dakota State scored the next 13 points in the second half. Second and 13 from the 44-yard line in Rabbits territory. Trimble in motion from left to right. Snap to Chambers. Fakes the handoff and a whistle. Play blown dead. Before the snap. First try, timeout. Montana State. So a timeout called by Montana State there, and that will take us to a break as well. 13 minutes, 17 seconds left to go in the ball game. Jack Rabbits leading the Bobcats 13 to 10. You're listening to Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. 
The Rocking R Bar is your home for everything Bobcat football. Whether the cats are home or away, we are your game day headquarters. Swing by for great food specials like the Sunny Holland Burger from our new grill, Hail Mary's. We also serve the best Montana craft beer and liquor the state has to offer. So grab a pint, something to eat, and one of our very own Rocking R Bar liquors because it's a great time to be a Bobcat at the Rocking R Bar. From ATVs to heavy RVs, the 2023 Chevy Silverado provides everything you need for a long day of towing. With proven technologies like trailer sway control, hill start assist, and auto grade braking. You'll also get the capability to work smarter, not harder, with the available multi-flex tailgate. Offering six different functions to help improve loading, unloading, and accessing the cargo bed. Check out the legendary Silverado at your Montana Chevy dealers. Proud sponsors of your Montana State Bobcats. Are you too hot? Are you too cold? Did you know that you don't have to just deal with it? We at Ambient Air Solutions understand how important comfort plays on your emotions, health, and quality of life on a daily basis. Ambient Air Solutions offers 24-7 emergency service for residential and commercial clients. We also offer financing to help ease the financial stress and burden of a lifelong investment. Call Ambient Air Solutions at 406-577-1818 and leave it to the professionals. Ambient Air Solutions, simplifying heating and cooling. It's all on the line right now, 13 minutes, 17 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Cats had the early momentum. South Dakota State has taken it back in the third quarter and on into the fourth. Montana State with the football, facing second and 13 from the 44-yard line in plus territory. Tommy Mullat with an apparent ankle injury has not been in since he rolled up that ankle, and he was hobbling around pretty good. He's on the sidelines with his helmet, but he is not walking clean right now. So Sean Chambers is in there. And Montana State set up in plus territory because of a big Marquis Johnson return. Shotgun formation. Thomas in motion. Snap. Fakes the handoff. Chambers looking to throw. Down the middle of the field. Intercepted. At the 15-yard line. Picked off. And South Dakota State's got it going the other way. Yeah, and South Dakota State, they got all the momentum right now. Tough read by Sean Chambers right there. Kind of hesitated a little bit. Had it had you know Julius Davis for a little bit there but hesitated through it a little bit of an overthrow pick for South Dakota State now it's time for this Bobcat defense to, to pick this offense up and, and try to get a stop and, and get the ball back yeah overthrew Julius Davis down the seam Cal Reeder picks up his uh, first interception of the year his 39th game two-year starter one of the more experienced guys had three picks last year and it was a nice play off the mark from Chambers Bobcats turn it over, so each team with a single turnover today. And now South Dakota State will go back to work offensively, and this is one of those drives where they could really take control of the game. Gronowski hands it off, and Isaiah Davis is wrapped up in the backfield. Rylan Ort got in there again, and either no gain or a yard loss. Great aggressive play by Rylan Ort right there. Coming in, getting a tackle for loss. Huge play to jumpstart this Bobcat defense. They really need to stop right here. And that's a great way to start off a drive. How would you like to be able to listen to us while synced up to your TV in the comfort of your own home? Go to SyncMyGame.com to find out how. Cats have got to get off the field in a timely fashion on this drive. Officially a one-yard loss, second and 11. Two receivers right, two to the left. Isaiah Davis in the backfield. Here's the snap. Gronowski looking to throw. Under pressure, fires incomplete to the left sideline. of Louis Lakepa in on the coverage. Fans want a, a flag, but that was a Louis LaCappa against the tight end, Zach Hines. Third yeah, and 11. Yeah, Danny Yu, great coverage right there on the tight end, Zach Hines. That's a tough matchup, as we saw earlier with, with him catching a touchdown on Ryland Ort. You got a linebacker, great coverage. Jackrabbit fans are going to be very disappointed in that, but they haven't called that all game long. Great coverage, forces a long third down here. Seems to this point it's been a pretty well-officiated game. They've let a lot go in a good way. So far it's been even, even, haven't had to think about them all night. 12 and a half to play in the ball game. Montana State down by three. Jackrabbits with the football facing third and 11. Here's the shotgun snap. Gronowski hit as he delivers that ball down the right sideline. It is incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Drew Polidor came flying in out of the safety position and hit Gronowski right in the chest. Very clean. And that is fourth down. And the Bobcat defense forces the three and out after the interception. That's a huge momentum breaker for South Dakota State. They get the big interception. The Bobcats force a three and out. Bobcat always back out. 
And really, the, the field position here is still moving in the Bobcats' direction. I know the catch through the interception, but it was a little bit of a deeper pass. And now Jacob Trimble is back to receive at his own 45-yard line. And all this field position was set up by the Marquis Johnson return. So here comes the punt from Hunter Dustman. 12-19 to go in the ball game. Cats getting the ball back down 13-10. to Here's the snap, chest high, Dustman stepping into it, oh. it got blocked, that ball is loose, it's right at the goal line, and the Bobcats recover it, it's a block punt, Montana State football at the one yard line. Wow, what a play right there, great job by Coach Udy, dialing up the play, the guys are executing it right there, huge momentum boost right there, blocked punt. That is awesome to see. I know last year we had something dial up. We could never get one blocked against this Jackrabbit defense or special teams, better said, but huge momentum boost right there. Rylan Ort was there with the blocked punt. He's been massive all night long, and Rylan Ort with the blocked punt. Montana State recovers at the one-yard line, down by three. 12 minutes, 13 seconds to go in the game. Catch with a chance to take the lead on the road against number one South Dakota State. Empty backfield, Sean Chambers in there with Malott Hurt. Snap, Chambers up the middle, met right there, nowhere to go, stop, no gain. Second goal to go from the one coming up. Jackrabbits hold right there and first and goal from the one yard line. I'll see the Bobcats, they're, they're gonna put the ball in the hands of Sean Chambers and see what, see what he can do because they believe in this guy, they believe in this football team and they believe they need to punch this thing into the end zone, get seven on the board. How big was that missed point after a little while ago as well, three point game instead of four. Catch at the one, second and goal to go. Thomas to the left, Anaya to the right, Chambers in the backfield, here's the snap, working his way up the middle, gets to the goal line, no, denied again at the one inch line. Third and goal to go from a few inches out. Another good push by the Jackrabbit defensive line right there. You know, this is big boys on big boys. This is what you want in the last three rounds of a championship fight. I know it's September, but you know, this is a knock, knock you out, drag you out type of fight right here. You know, we're in, the, we're in rounds 13, 14 right now. Let's see who's gonna win this thing. All that off season conditioning coming to fruition now. We're gonna know who took it seriously. Third and goal to go from the one yard line. Catch with the football down by three. And Brent Vegan comes streaking in and has to call a timeout and nearly chucked his headset into the turf. And the Bobcats have to use their second timeout in this fourth quarter. So they have just one left in a three-point game. Dan, what are you seeing down there right now? They must have the wrong personnel in there uh, on that particular play. Coach Vegan was not happy, as you said. But I, th I can tell you, there, there hasn't been any room up the middle for Sean Chambers. He's stuffed it in there as hard as he can. There has been very, very uh, small seam to get through and not enough so far. Bobcats trying to convert this into a touchdown after the Ryland Ort blocked punt, set it up at the one yard line. And can the Bobcats push this thing through? I think, by the way, it was Julius Davis who recovered that loose ball after the block punt by Ort. It looked, I thought it was Tavian Williams. Oh, maybe it was. I think it looked it like Tavian Williams. A couple of guys yeah, there, there was a lot of guys there, but uh, you Ort know. got the block. And yep. Williams was in there mm -hmm. helping on the block as well. All right, here we go. Third and goal to go from the one-yard line for Montana State, down by three. Empty backfield, Chambers back there. Three receivers left, one to the right to snap. Chambers moving left, spins, and he's in. Touchdown, Bobcats. But no. They blew that play dead first. There's a flag on the play. Take the touchdown. Before the snap, full start. Offense, number 76. Five-yard penalty, third down. A flinch at the end. Chambers got in there, but the play was blown dead. No touchdown. Back it up five yards. And the uh, false start penalties have been a killer for the Bobcats tonight. Yeah, especially in the second half. Another miscue by this Bobcat offensive line. You know, that's their third false start, I believe. It didn't really look like it was on Marcus Weir. It looked like it was something on the interior, but you never know with the defensive line for South Dakota State, not making excuses, but, you know, they're saying things. They're saying they're making move calls. It sounds like, you know, set go, and the Bobcats jump forces a little bit longer of a third and goal. Montana State with a football, six yards to go, third and goal, down by three on the road. Heading into that student section, the snap to Chambers, he hands it off. Davis shuffling up the middle and he's short by two yards. 
Fourth and goal to go from two yards out. A field goal would tie it. And that's what the Cats are going to do. Here comes Tommy Sullivan leading out the kicking unit. And Brendan Hall, who converted his first collegiate field goal earlier tonight, will dial up one right in the middle of the field. The ball set up right now at the two-yard line. So basically a PAT. Got to take care of business here if you're Brendan Hall to tie the game with 10.22 to go in the fourth quarter in the clock running. The snap, the hold is down. The kick is up, and that kick is good. We got a tie game, 13 points apiece after the Brendan Hall field goal, and a Rylan Ort block punt turns into three, and this game is tied. We're taking a break. Take a deep breath. Go get a sip of water. Recharge because we've got some twists and turns left for you. Again, here's the situation. 10 minutes, 15 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Jacks will receive the kickoff when we come back. This game is tied 13 points apiece. You're listening to Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. Bridger Brewing is home to award-winning locally crafted beer and pizza and is proud to support all things Bobcat sports. Open 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily, last beer served at 8 p.m. and located right across from the Brick Breeden Fieldhouse. Stop by after the game today to enjoy a cold pint of beer and a slice of made-from-scratch delicious pizza. Dine-in service and online ordering for takeout are both available. Check out BridgerBrewing.com and at Bridger Brewing on Instagram and Facebook and stay tuned for updates on our newest adventure in Three Forks, Montana. Hi, former Bobcat Lou Salcedo for Western Motors. Our team proudly supports MSU Bobcat football both on and off the field. I want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck for the season. Western Motors has spent the last 22 years serving Gallatin County and supporting over 40 local organizations. We have been recognized as the best in Bozeman and Gallatin's greatest several years running. As Montana's number one volume dealer, we are hired in all departments across eight of our dealerships. We have plenty of new and used inventory ready for purchase. Good luck, Bobcats. Western Motors, community born, community driven. It's the season of home improvement, and Williams Plumbing will help you tackle the big stuff. Are old roots clogging your sewer line? Williams has the tools to fix it. Have you checked your septic system lately? We have the knowledge and experience to maintain or repair it. Looking to install a yard hydrant? We'll do it promptly and professionally. Don't sweat the big stuff. Call Williams Plumbing today. Ten fifteen to go in the fourth quarter. Montana State converts a field goal to tie this game at 13. Want to uh, amend our statement. So Rylan Ort was near the block, but officially it goes to Julius Davis. A blocked punt by Julius Davis. Tavion Williams did have the recovery. So Davis the block, Williams the recovery. Ort was in the area, but that's the way it officially goes down in the stats. And that turned into a field goal by Brendan Hall to tie this game at 13 points apiece. Montana State will kick it away from left to right. This right-footed kick, high arcing shot toward the middle of the end zone, and that will bounce out of the back of the end zone. Intermountain Health, formerly known as SCL Health in Big Sky Country, is proud to be an official health partner of Montana State Athletics. Well, Dan, the, the Bobcat offense just hasn't quite been able to get it to go, and they've had some chances here in the second half. Yeah, second half, they've had three possessions. One started at the 25, the other one started at the plus 41, and the other one started at the one. And uh, we only have three points to show for it at this point. Uh, those three points were enough to tie this thing up after Hunter Dustman missed a point after attempt, one of the first point after misses in almost 140 consecutive attempts, and the first miss he's ever had in his career on a point after. From the 25-yard line of their own territory, South Dakota State in a shotgun formation. Isaiah Davis now shuffles back into the backfield. Here's the snap. They hand it off to Davis, working his way up the middle, and an ankle tackle up top. Drew Polidor came in to help. Daniel Louis Lakepa was in there as well, and that is a five-yard gain, second and five from the 30-yard line line now you know that was a good job by Danny you right there coming over making the sure tackle on Isaiah Davis he had a little bit of space right there but Danny was just able to come over wrap him up by the legs and Drew came in and finished the tackle off big gainers on the ground over 100 yards on the ground of the second half by South Dakota State 942 to go in the game with the clock running this one tied at 13 points apiece Man in motion from right to left. Here's the shotgun snap. Gradowski will keep it, try to run. Nowhere to go in the backfield, and he gets pushed backwards for another two-yard loss. There's the push by the Bobcat D-line they've been looking for. There's Sebastian Valdez making a play when his team needs it. That's why he's one of the leaders of that defensive front right there. 
holds it up, gets through. Danny Yu, Nolan Askelson, and a whole slew of Bobcats comes in, makes the tackle on Gronowski on a QB design run play that they've had a lot of success on here in the second half. Boy, if the Bobcat defense plays like this all year long, don't make plans in December. Nine minutes to go in the ball game, tied at 13. Third and seven from their own 28 yard line. Jack Rabbits with the football on the right hash mark. Three receivers left, one to the right. Snap to Kronowski, a little bit low. Looking to throw under pressure. He's wrapped up. He is sacked finally at long last. It was Kenneth Iden getting in there. His sixth career sack, second of the year. Fourth down coming up. And that's that package right there where Kenneth Iden, he shifts into the D tackle position. They bring out Blake Schmidt. So you get Kenneth Iden, a great athlete on a guard as opposed to a tackle who's used to blocking those better athletes. Great sack right there. The man from Bozeman getting it done. Kenny Iden was there. Then a Louis Lakepa and a Blake Schmidt helping out, or excuse me, Ben Seymour rather, helping out to bring him down as well. All right, here we go. Last punt attempt was blocked by the Bobcat D. This one, a chest high snap, line drive kick. It bounces at the 40 yard line, picked up by Trimble on a hop, racing toward the sideline. He's cut down very quickly. Just by picking it up, he certainly saved 10 or 15 yards, but with nowhere to go. And Montana State's offense will take over, will take a break. Eight minutes to go in the ball game between the top three, two of the top three teams in the country. Your score, 13 points apiece between Montana State and South Dakota State. You're listening to Bobcat Football, presented by Learfield. Are you looking for a rewarding career right here in Montana? Applied Materials is located in Kalispell, Montana, and is hiring for engineering and manufacturing roles. The leader in materials engineering solutions used to produce virtually every new chip and advanced display in the world. Applied Materials offers top-notch wages and full benefits on day one. Go to AppliedMaterials.com careers and search for the jobs by location to find your next career with Applied Materials. Our innovations make possible a better future. Equal opportunity employer. For every peak, valley, and plateau, for every mishap and every adventure, for every Montanan in every season of life, Bozeman Health is here to deliver care with quality, compassion, and respect. Because we see you as more than the patient you are today, we look to what's on the horizon for you and our community over the decades to come. That's care beyond care. Well beyond Bozeman Health. The Ribbon Chop House was founded in 2001. Our ability to grow has come through our commitment to Rocky Mountain Hospitality, a concept which incorporates a casual attitude with our high level commitment to loyalty, safety, service, and quality food. At the Ribbon Chop House, our staff is dedicated to creating extraordinary experiences that raise the bar in each of our communities. Enjoy premium steaks, fresh seafood, and award-winning baby back ribs. We look forward to sharing a little Rocky Mountain Hospitality with you. Tyrama and Cooper Tires are proud supporters of your MSU Bobcats. Visit Tyrama.com for a complete list of store services and special offers. Tyrama, more than just a tire store. 13 points apiece, Montana State and South Dakota State. Two teams that have met in each of the last two semifinals. There are eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Sean Chambers is back into the ballgame at quarterback along with Jared White as the halfback. Tommy Mulat appeared to injure his, uh, his ankle earlier in this game and has not been in since early in the third quarter. Cats take over at their own 37-yard line after forcing a punt. Pistol snap, turns to his right, hands it off. Jared White gets up the middle and pushes the pile up to the 40-yard line. And that is a three-yard gain, second and seven. Good solid run by Jared to, to get the drive going. You know, the defense has stepped up here late. Special teams have stepped up here late. Now it's time for the offense to put together a big drive, put some points on the board, put the Bobcats in the lead. Some rushing stats. Julius Davis, 11 carries, 50 yards. Tommy Mallott, 11 for 46. Sean Chambers, 12 for 37 with a town pump touchdown. Jared White, 3 for 11. Scott Trey Humphrey, 1 for 2. Pistol formation. Thomas and Garrigan out to the left. Here's the snap. Chambers keeps it. He runs right, gets to the numbers, and can't slip past the defensive back. Did gain a yard or two, so he's able to get up. It's about that 43-yard line, so third and four. Very manageable here for the Bobcats. Yeah, third and manageable. Big time play. Time to step up for this defense. That was a really good play by Kale Reeder there. One-on-one -on -one tackle with Sean Chambers. Sean Chambers wins that nine times out of ten. You know, big play here. Let's see if they can't get this first down. 
Third and four. Garrigan on the outside, left side. In the slot is Thomas. Jared White to the right. Chambers in the shotgun. Takes the snap. He runs up the middle along the right hash mark, and he got tripped up underneath. And he comes up. Oh, man, he is really close to that first down marker, but it looks like he's a yard shy. Oh, they're going for this. Coach Vegan, right away. Hey, we're going. You have to knock out the champ, and, and this, is, this is a situation where you knock him out. Fourth and one in your own territory. Let's go. Can't score if you don't take a shot. Fourth and one for Montana State. 6.15 to go in the fourth quarter in a tie game. 13 points apiece from the right hash mark. White spread out to the right side. Garrigan and Thomas to the left. Snell on the line on the left side. Shotgun formation, the snap. Chambers keeps it, sneaks up the middle. He's got the first interstate bank, first down. Took a hard hit from Kale, or Kale, Re uh, Kale Reeder, but the Cats convert. First interstate bank, first down. Shows the confidence that Coach Vegan has, and Coach Houseride and these players has in this offensive line. Going for it, fourth and one in your own territory. You know, you don't win any football games by punting the football. You know, great QB design run right there, collapsing up by the tight ends. Derek Snell, trade Pickering. Great run by Sean Chambers, finishing it. Garrigan and Trimble to the right. Snell and Thomas to the left. Julius Davis in the backfield in a shotgun formation. First and 10 in plus territory. Man in motion, that's Snell to the line. Here's the snap. Chambers hands it off. Davis gets up the middle. Stiff arms a man at the left hash mark, and he falls forward up to the 41-yard line. That's a big boy run by the Badger transfer. Ooh, and a man goes down after, and there's a flag. Connor Moore got shoved down, and a flag is in the air after the play. Wait for the call officially here. Don't know if Moore flopped a little bit. If there's a shove anyway... After the play, personal foul, defense, number two. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Isaiah Stallbird, the senior linebacker, and the Bobcats move things forward. A penalty aided, first interstate bank, first down. Another crucial mistake by the Jackrabbits right there. Looks like Connor Moore might have a future in Hollywood after he's done <laughs> playing football because I don't know if he really got shoved that much. He's a big boy, but good job selling again the penalty for the Bobcats. First and 10, the ball moved up to the 26-yard line. Thomas to the left, Trimble the freshman to the right. Jared White in the pistol formation is the running back. Snap to Chambers, turns, hands off left. Jared White gets a little bit of room inside the numbers on the left side, and he's up to the 21-yard line. Good, solid run right there by Jared. Finishing forward, you know, putting themselves in good situations. Keep moving the ball forward here. Time's ticking down a little bit. Great drive by the Bobcats. They just got to punch something into the end zone, score seven. Four minute offense. Exactly, exactly. This game tied at 13 points apiece. 4.25 to go with the clock running. Cats in no hurry here. Up at the 21 yard line facing second and five. Cats trying to take down number one South Dakota State. Looking for their first win over number one since Sam Houston State in 2021. Shotgun snap, Chambers keeps it. He runs up the middle, right down the middle of the field and he got tripped up after he picked up the first down near the 10 yard line. Oh, he was a shoestring away from a touchdown either way. First interstate bank, first down into the Rose Hours red zone. Great play design right there. Good job by, by Sean. There was a little bit of a mesh problem there. That's the second or third time that, you know, either Julius or Jared have had some mesh problems. They'll get that worked out by, you know, week five or six. But overall, good job by Sean right there. Reading the defense out. Linebacker flowed. First down, Bobcats. They're moving. Got the momentum back. Interwest Moving and Storage is the official moving company of the MSU Bobcats. First and 10 from the 11 yard line of the red zone. Pistol formation. Garrigan and Thomas to the right. Julius Davis, the halfback, and another false start by Montana State. Oh, that is just tough. Look like snow again. False start. Offense, number eight. Five yard penalty. First down. So uncharacteristic. Yeah, Derek Snell, one of the one of the best football players in, in the whole country, uh, one of the leaders on the team. He's going to be kicking himself come film time tomorrow, but, uh, you know, he just might make a play here, make a big block for the Bobcats and make up for it. Time to have a goldfish memory. Garrigan and Thomas to the right, Snell on the left side of the line, along with Pickering. Davis in the backfield is the halfback in a pistol formation. Chambers takes the snap. He will keep it, running left, heading toward the sideline, outside the numbers, slips off one man and dances forward just barely as he stumbles out of bounds. Depends on where he stepped on the out-of-bounds marker, and they put him at the 14-yard line for a two-yard gain. 
Didn't look like a very great spot there. Looked like more of a jackrabbit spot. But anyways, good job by Sean reading that out. Uh, even better play by, by the defense right there, the Jackrabbits running after the football. You know, this is what you want here. Three minutes left in the ball game. Slowing the clock down a little bit, making sure they get that right call from House Wright into Sean Chambers. And right now in the red zone, you do not want to give the ball back to South Dakota State with any semblance of time. Plus the Cats have one timeout left. Jackrabbits have all three. Under three minutes to play in the tie ball game. 13 points apiece. Two and then one on the play clock. Here's the snap and a flag flies. Full start. Offense. Number 72. Five yard penalty. Second down. These have been killer. Yeah, it looked like a little bit of a miscommunication in the huddle there. I'm not sure, you know, if the offensive line could hear that, but you had Marcus Weir going back to Sean with about eight seconds left in the play clock, so a little bit of a communication issue there. You know, the Bobcats, they really need to move this ball forward to make sure that they're in gimme field goal range. Second and 18 from the 19-yard line, so you can pick up a first down at the one-yard line. 2.47 to go in the game. Empty backfield, Chambers in the shotgun formation. He takes the snap, running left, slips past one man, bounces off another. He stays on his feet, outside the numbers, back to the original line of scrimmage, and he carries things forward again up to the nine-yard line, make it the 10-yard line. That is a hearty nine-yard gain by Sean Chambers. That's big boy football right there. That's Sean Chambers right there, kid that played at the University of Wyoming. So happy for that kid. Great run right there. Hard-nosed, tough kid. One of the hardest workers on the team. Great run to, to set themselves up and at least have a chance. The Bobcats need your support to go for the win. Donate to the Bobcat Club's Three to Win campaign to help us reach our $3 million goal supporting student athletes. All right, a reset on where we have come from to get here with two minutes, 30 seconds to go in the ball game. South Dakota State has just used their first timeout. Cats and Jackrabbits are tied at 13 points apiece. Montana State had a 10-0 lead after the first half. They had the offense rolling and the defense was dominant. Jackrabbits came out in the third quarter and they gashed things on the ground. They scored the next 13 points but missed a point after and then a Julius Davis blocked punt set up the game-tying field goal. Cats defense stood tall and now Montana State has the football at the 10-yard line facing third and nine with two and a half to go. Empty backfield, Garrigan and Thomas to the right. Here's the snap, Chambers keeps it. He runs up the middle of the field, stays on his feet, pushes the pile inside the five yard line, right up near that first down marker. Did he get the spot? It's gonna be close. Looks like they're gonna spot it at about the two right now. And that'll put him a yard shy, fourth and one from the two. Uh, Jack Rabbit is down and injured. So Bozeman Health injury timeout for a Jackrabbit player. All right, so if this ball is at the two-yard line, that should make it fourth and one because the first down marker is at the one-yard line. Now, they haven't measured it yet, but if this is fourth and one from the two, with the lead easily to take on a field goal, what do you do here, RJ? I mean, I at least see the Bobcats lining up, maybe going a hard count. Worst case scenario, you take a false start, you take a delay game, you move back five yards, you get a little bit better angle for the kick, but I think you at least send your offense out there, you know, and like I said, if you want to beat the champ, you got to knock them out, and scoring a touchdown, you know, it, it, it's a lot harder to get a touchdown than it is to get in field goal range, and, you know, it'll be, it, it's an interesting decision for Coach Pegan, and uh, one that I'm glad that I'm not making, <laughs> I, you know, that's why we're up here and not down there, but, uh, you know, it's decision time, and, you know, when you got Sean Chambers back there, I know he got stopped earlier, but I don't know if you can stop him. Can you stop him four times, five times in a game? I don't think so, so we'll see what the Bobcats end up doing here. Dan, what do you think? What are the Cats doing here? Yeah, it's uh, the ball is right at the two-yard line, and they need to get just past the one-yard line. I think you line up. Big boy football. Let's go. Game on the line. Two minutes, 14 seconds left, tied at 13 points apiece. From the two-yard line, fourth and one. The Cats could take a lead here with a field goal. They've sent the offense out onto the field. Tommy Malott has been hurt. He is on the sideline. Chambers in an empty backfield, and another false start. Pickering and Snell moved on the left side of the line, and that'll make it an easy decision to take the points. Another tough play by the Bobcats right there. Derek Snell jumping offsides again. 
I'm not I'm not so sure that the Jackrabbits are having a move call because I know from experience the Jackrabbits they do like to make a move call and move their defensive line right before the snap count. They do a really good job of timing it up. So I'm not sure if that is why we've seen so many Bobcat jumps tonight. So now Brendan Hall, one of the newest Bobcats, will line it up. Converted his first collegiate field goal earlier today for the lead with two minutes, seven seconds to go. Sullivan snaps on the money. Absher's hold is down. This kick is up, and that kick is good. Montana State takes the lead on the field goal by Brendan Hall, and the Cats now up 16-13 to with 2.04 to go, and they will kick it away, and they are one stop away from taking down number one in the nation. Man, what a dramatic sequence there. And the Cats are doing all this with Tommy Mallott hurt for most of the second half. And Sean Chambers rising to the occasion again. And it's just hat-on-hat hat football. They snap it right to him and let him go to work. Andy, you know, shooting themselves in the foot offensively. Just going backwards and just putting the offense in tough situations. But yet coming through for the lead with 2.04 left in this one. 15th round of the boxing match right now. <laughs> See what we're made of. It, it's it's time, it's almost decision time right here. Bobcat defense, it's time for you to step up. Let's go. The Bobcat faithful in the stadium, they're gonna be loud, I think, on, the, on this drive. Let's go. Well, the last two drives was a block punt and a three and out with a big sack by Kenny Iden. And that was after Montana State was given the Jackrabbits whatever they wanted in that third quarter. Credit the adjustments by the Cats coaching staff, and they started to sure up. Uh, giving up 13 points to the Jackrabbits is no small feat. Here's Brendan Hall's kickoff. High arcing kick toward the middle of the end zone, and it is a touchback. Brendan Hall, 100% on his touchback so far this season. 2.04 to go. Jackrabbits will take over at their own 25-yard line. Field goal to tie. Touchdown to win. Can Montana State's defense continue to stand tall? They have had an ebb and a flow. Dynamite in the first half. Struggled in the third quarter. Coming at big in the fourth quarter. How would you like to be able to listen to us while synced up to your TV in the comfort of your own home? Go to SyncMyGame.com to find out how. Boy, what a mature performance by Montana State. This has been a heavyweight fight with big time ebbs and flows and the Cats have a 16 to 13 lead over number one South Dakota State with two minutes, four seconds to go. Shotgun formation. South Dakota State takes the snap on first down. Gronowski looking to throw. He takes a shot down the right sideline. That ball is caught. And he's tackled down at the 35 yard line. A long strike on first down and South Dakota State into plus territory as Graham Goring makes a big catch. Wow, that was a dime right there, Bergenowski. Tough coverage by Caden right there. You had a little inside fade route. Uh, that's a tough coverage right there, one-on-one -on -one coverage. You know, tough play for the Bobcats to, to start things off here on this drive. Up to the 35-yard line. Still a little bit out of Dustman's range. His career long is 45 yards. And now here's the snap. Fired over to the right side of the numbers. Catch is made. Man is loose. He's heading toward the end zone. Seymour behind him, and he's in. South Dakota State strikes from 35 yards out, and they have taken the lead on the touchdown pass and catch. Two plays, and they go 75 yards for the go-ahead touchdown. Really good play designed by the Jackrabbits. Just a receiver screen to the boundary. Uh, not a lot of Bobcats in the vicinity. All he had to do was make one step, get in the end zone. It, you know, the only good thing about that is the Jackrabbits scored so fast that the Bobcats will get this football back. Minute and a half, one time out to win the football game. So here's the PAT from Dustman. And it was the freshman, Griffin Wilde who scores the go-ahead touchdown with 90 seconds left. The PAT snap on the money. Here's the kick. That ball is up, and that ball is through. 20-16, to 16, South Dakota State in front, and Montana State has one timeout and 90 seconds left. And the Cats, you know, they had to use two timeouts in this second half. That hurts, and Wilde able to skip past a man, and he works his way into the end zone from 35 yards out. Two plays, 75 yards, 34 seconds, South Dakota State up by four. And now it's time to execute that two-minute drill that, you know, you work that every single week. Um, during fall camp, you execute it. You have plays for this situation and this situation specifically. You practice it all the time. Now it's time to execute. Look at Marquis right here. If he gets a chance, 
We saw him break one earlier. This could be a huge game-changing play late in the fourth quarter to at least jumpstart the Bobcats offense. Marquette Johnson with a 60-yard return already. Really, only the second opportunity he's had all year to return a kick, and he brought it back to the plus 40. See if Hunter Dustman has enough in that leg now. Marquis Johnson dialed up near that right hash mark with his heels on the checkered paint in the end zone. Jack's up 20 to 16, 90 seconds left in the ball game. Dustman approaches with a right footed kick. Oh, that's a short little pooch kick. Derek Snell will make the catch at the 15 yard line. He takes it up the left hash mark, working his way there at the 25 yard line spins. And he is finally tackled his precious seconds. Tick off the clock that used seven seconds. So one minute, 23 seconds to go in the game. One timeout for Montana State. Uh, let's see if they've got a little magic in there. Tommy Malat's been out in most of the second half with an apparent ankle injury. So it's been Sean Chambers' show, and he leads the offense out now in the road white unis. Christian Anaya spread out to the right side. Jared White, Cleavan Thomas to the left. Trimble and Snell join an eye on the right side of the, uh, the line. Sean Chambers in an empty set and a shotgun formation on the left hash mark. The snap on first down. Chambers looking to throw. Flushed out of the pocket, rolling out to the left side. There's a flag on the play, and he's shoved out of bounds. Official goes down as well. Let's see what this flag is. Looks like a hold. Yeah. Some pressure in the middle there. Helping up one of the officials over on that left sideline as well. She went down hard in the action over there. Saw another staff member go down earlier when Tommy Mallott got shoved into him. It's all clean. There's nothing you can do. It's just one of those things. Official back on her feet. Walking it off. Holding. Offense. Number 72. 10-yard penalty. First down. 80 yards to go for the Bobcats from their own 20-yard line. First and 15 now, trailing 20-16 to 16 with just 1 minute 17 seconds left. Jackrabbits trying to pull a rabbit out of their hat here. It was a two-play drive to take the lead after the Cats got the go-ahead field goal with two minutes left of the game. Two receivers left, three to the right. Oh, it was a 10-yard holding penalty. First and 20 from the 15, the snap. Chambers rolling out to his left, fires. Derek Snell makes his first catch of the game, working his way toward the sideline near the first down marker. The clock will continue to run. Did he get that first down? No, no they no. didn't give it to him. He was just short. 19-yard gain on the catch and run. Clock running, under a minute to go. Shotgun snap on second and one. Chambers steps up. He fires to the left sideline. Snell makes the catch, and he's pushed out of bounds. And the Bobcats up near the 50-yard line. First interstate bank, first down. Good job by Sean Chambers stepping up in the pocket. Shows his poise right there. Hits Derek Snell on the corner out. Derek does a great job of getting out of bounds, knowing the situation. Now you're around midfield. You have 51 seconds left. You don't have to rush this play. You can take a little bit of a breath here, get a couple plays in the huddle, start moving. 51 seconds left. Montana State down 20 to 16. Empty set, shotgun snap. Malat working on the left sideline, shuffling left, still looking, takes a deep shot down the middle of the field. Jacob Trimble oh. cannot make the catch. No flag on the play. Great coverage downfield incomplete it was Deshaun Gales there on the coverage young guy Jacob Trimble right there Sean Chambers looked like he had him deep right there looked like a really good throw it was it, it was a dime throw even better play by the Jackrabbits right there looked like the Bobcats had some magic right there but uh that's all right, we got some more plays to go. Second and 10 from their own 47 yard line, down by four, 42 seconds left. Snap, Chambers steps up in a bloody pocket, takes a shot down the left sideline, over through Jared White who had a step on his man. Third and 10 now, they had a shot. Second play in a row, Sean Chambers steps up in the pocket, does a good job, eyes downfield, going through all his reads and progressions right there, had Jared White up the sideline, would have been a tough throw, tough catch but something if you're trying to pull out a miracle, you need a play like that to happen. What a flurry of scoring down the stretch tonight. Cats tied it at 13, took a 16 to 13 lead with two minutes to go. Montana State down 20 to 16, 
Third and 10 from their own 47 yard line. Snap to Chambers. Steps up in the pocket under pressure. He tucks it running toward the numbers on the left side. Cuts up field. He's got the first down up to the 40 yard line. First down for Montana State. They'll reset the chains here. The clock still does stop in this window inside two minutes. Montana State lining up, clock running, 25 seconds, then 24. Snap to Chambers, looking to throw, steps up, takes a shot, down the left sideline, incomplete. 18 seconds left, second and 10. Yeah, Sean's trying to get a little bit of chunk play right there. You know, it's a it's a two-man concept right there. You got a high pylon po pylon corner, a little bit shallower of a corner. Try to hit Cleveland on the high the high deep post right there at the back of the end zone. A little bit of an overthrow. It's all right though clock stops you know all you can ask for is a, is a chance and the Bobcats have a chance right here with 18 seconds left a two play 75 yard touchdown drive the difference in the game 18 seconds left still one time out in the Bobcat pocket second and 10 the snap Chambers in the pocket looking to throw rolling out to his left he fires that is caught up at the 20 yard line Trayton Pickering has it and he falls ahead to the 19 yard line nine seconds on the clock Timeout Bobcats and Montana State is in striking distance down by four. You got life right here. That was their final, the Bobcats' final timeout right there. Good timeout. Good job by Sean Chambers not taking off and running right there, but rather finding Trayton and Pickering across the middle. First down. They have nine seconds left. Looks like he might have two plays towards the end zone here if it gets in the end zone. Sean's got to be, he's got to be careful not to take too much time in the pocket and really just give his receiver a chance to go up and make a play. First catch of the day for Trayton Pickering up to the 19 yard line, made the catch near the numbers left side. And Sean Chambers, three of seven through the air now with 52 yards. Tommy Mallott was six of six before he was injured. Has not come back in for most of the second half. He tried to give it a go, but just couldn't. Nine seconds left, maybe two plays left. Cats down 20 to 16. On the left hash mark from 19 yards out, they need a touchdown to win it. Snap, Chambers, whistle, flag. What? We'll start offense, number 72, by their penalty, first down. What murder these false starts have been to the Bobcats. That's a, that's a crucial penalty right there. Instead of only having to go 19 yards, now you got to go 24 yards, and, that, and that's just time. Those five extra yards. That's time, and when you only have nine seconds left, every single second matters. Nine seconds left, no timeouts from the 24-yard line. First and 15, but the downs don't matter. Cats down 20 to 16. Trying to take down number one, South Dakota State, looking for their third all-time win against a top-ranked team. Shotgun snap. Chambers looking, steps up in the pocket, rolling out to his right, five seconds left, got to go here, four seconds left, he takes a shot toward the end zone, Cleveland Thomas, he made the catch, touchdown Bobcats, Cleveland Thomas Jr. in the back of the end zone, makes the catch, zeros on the clock, Bobcats win it, Bobcats win it, a 24 yard pass by Sean Chambers, and Cleveland Thomas Jr. makes the game winning catch. They are in shock. What a play by Sean Chambers. We'll see if it holds up here. In the back of the end zone, dragging his foot. Was he out of bounds? It's gonna, it looks like he might have been out of bounds right there. All for naught, but oh my, wow. Did he have it? They're taking a look at the replay right now. The crowd just erupted to the reaction of it. So hard to tell. Looking at the replay right now, oh, I don't know, his right foot might have come down out of bounds at the back of the end zone. There are zeros on the clock. This game is either over or the Bobcats have won it. Again, they called it a touchdown, so yep. they've got to have really good evidence that it's not. Sean Chambers is beside himself. It's almost like he can't even believe the moment he's in right now. I mean, you got to just be shaking with adrenaline on the sideline right now. They show the replay again. Was that left foot down when he made the catch? I don't think it was. It's so hard to tell. And if it was the right foot that needed to come down, I think that might have been out of bounds. And we will see. We're waiting on the official who still has the headset on. And it's tough. There's just not that many cameras at this level to get that shot. And like Dan mentioned, the call on the field was a touchdown in the back of the end zone inside the uh, on the outside of the right hash 
and it turned into one of those plays where there was so much going on that it was going to be the last play. There was nine seconds on the clock at the end of that play. Bobcats have all taken a knee down to that left sideline, and all you can do is sit here, wait, and hope. I just, I don't, I don't know if that's going to be enough to overturn it. The only replay we've really seen was one from behind the end zone and one kind of from the other end zone. It, it's just so hard. It, it's so, so close. There are zeros on the clock. Of course, the hometown scoreboard hasn't put the touchdown on the board, even though that's what was called. Officially, right now, Montana State has scored the touchdown, making it 22 to 20 with zeros on the clock. But the touchdown is under review. Sean Chambers, man. Oh, and he was very, very close. He might have been across the line of scrimmage. Here we go. Here's the official After call. review, there is, there is one second, second left, left on the clock. clock. And also, the pass is incomplete. <laughs> second down with one second. Still a shot. This ball game is still alive. One second left. Cleveland Thomas Jr. made the catch, but he was out of bounds. And Montana State gets one more opportunity. Now, can you build yourself back up after the emotion of that moment? You know, it's going to be tough. You got to settle down on the sideline right there. A lot of hanging heads on the Bobcat sideline. But, you know, they did it once before. It was very close to being a completion. But you got a chance to win this football game right now. You really got to focus up here. You got a chance to win the football game. I'm not so sure what they're doing with this football and why they're backing it up to the 39. They didn't announce anything. It did look like Chambers might have been across that line. Oh, of is scrimmage. that what they called? I, they didn't say it, but on the replay, that's looked like that looked like what had happened. Yeah, there's a penalty here, some sort. I think Chambers was across the line of scrimmage when he threw that ball. Yeah, but they wouldn't call. They can't call that on the replay, I don't think. Right. So why didn't they call it initially? And the ball's back at the 39-yard line. I think they can change it if it is a quarterback throwing it and if he's across the line of scrimmage. I know that they can they can add that on. Okay, so the ball's back at the 39-yard line. They did not announce that. One second left, a game-winning touchdown, wiped off the board after a Les Schwab review. Cats down 20-16. to 16. Final play of an historic night. This ball game has delivered everything we have expected. Montana State ready to go. And now a whistle. And a timeout, South Dakota State. Hey, know what's below? Tap, click, or call 811 before you dig. Brought to you by Montana811.org. You know, was that maybe an excessive celebration penalty, Dan? That's that's kind of what it seems like with a 15-yarder right there. So maybe that's what they called with everyone running off the sideline celebrating the what would have been a touchdown. Yeah, I, I have not got word here. I'm trying to ask around the sideline to see, but I'll let you know if I find anything out. But why not announce it? They have a microphone for a reason. It's okay if that's what the call is, just tell us. Well, and how do you penalize kids for running on the field if, with something like that happening? I mean, there's- You thought there's, it was zeros on the clock? Yeah, you thought it was zeros on the clock. You're excited, that's what, that's what college football is about. It's about getting excited with your guys. You know, Bobcats got one more play here. Let's see what type of magic they have left. South Dakota State puts three defensive backs inside the five-yard line. Cats have it at the 39-yard line with one second left down by four. Sean Chambers ready to take the snap. Drops back. They rush three. Shuffles to his left. He tries to take the deep shot. He got hit as he threw. That ball is short. It's up in the air, and it's tipped down. It's incomplete, and the ball game is over. Montana State appeared to have a game-winning touchdown. It was reversed after a replay review and the Bobcats have lost on the road to number one South Dakota State 20 to 16 in one of the more remarkable September games we'll see. What a football game by two great football teams. It would not surprise me if we see this matchup again. Hopefully it's down in Frisco this time around but you know these are two great football teams, two great programs. You know it really showed out tonight great football game overall you know the Bobcats should not hang their heads at all they fought they fought hard offense defense special teams we thought we won the game didn't end up working out that way but you know sometimes things don't go your way but at, at the end of the season I think the Bobcats are going to be happy that they went through this experience Montana State loses 20 to 16 in an instant classic boy you just can't help but think of all the false start penalties that Montana State had in this game. They end up with 12 penalties for 80 yards. Uh, that was a killer today. Well, and, and two times as well, they were on the one or two yard line, could not punch the football in, and that's what the fourth quarter 
and winning football games against the number one team at their house is all about. You gotta score touchdowns, not field goals. Credit the Bobcat defense after a struggle in that third quarter. They came up big in the fourth quarter and gave the Cats a big time chance today. And Montana State comes up just shy, losing 20 to 16 against South Dakota State. Man, just an absolutely remarkable ball game. Cats were right there with number one South Dakota State in no way, shape, or form where they beat up or outclassed in this game. This was just mano a mano, and Montana State ends up falling. A couple of key mistakes by the Bobcats. South Dakota State had a few as well, but Montana State had too many late in this game. They had some opportunities to take a bigger lead or potentially put this game away. They come up shy, but look, tough loss, but you were right there, one score game, and this will not wreck a season. This will not derail anything. All three goals for the year are right on the table for Montana State. And this one will sting, but this is going to be a fun season. It's going to sting, but, you know, Bobcat Nation should be very proud of this football team and the product that they put out on the field tonight. They played their hearts out. You know, coming in here after getting whooped in December, it's a very hard thing. I mean, you you got to swallow some pride, you know, coming into this place. They beat up on you last year. They didn't, they didn't beat up on the Bobcats today. The Bobcats beat themselves today, and unfortunately they didn't, you know, come out with the victory, but they should be very happy with the way they played. There's going to be some things they need to clean up, but at the end of the day, you know, championships aren't handed out in September. And for Montana State, I mean, look, you, you can kind of put this game in a folder, tuck it away in a file cabinet, and, you know, we can talk about it later in the year when we start talking about playoff seating because that's where this game will come back up, but... This is why you play these types of games. These are the types of things that will pay dividends as the year goes on. And we've talked about how battle-tested this Montana State team is. And, uh, boy, they stood up tall in this test today. And this will it's just more fire. This is more iron that sharpens iron. And tough loss, but, man, tip of the cap. And, obviously, South Dakota State is a tremendous team. And they're number one in the nation, but they were certainly tested today. They have not been tested like this, really, since they lost to Iowa in week one last year. Yeah, I mean, you know. It, it just shows that, you know, the South Dakota State Jackrabbits, they're not unbeatable. The Bobcats, they can hang with any team in the FCS, their premier program. They should not drop in the polls at all. You know, you got William and Mary at four, but, you know, losing 20 to 16 on the road at South Dakota State when you thought you won the game, you shouldn't move at all, you know. And they should be very, very confident heading into week three against Stetson and then heading into week four against Weber State starting the Big Sky Football Conference play, which is what the first step is going to be into reaching their goal of winning a Big Sky Net, Big Sky Championship, hosting a home playoff game, being a one or two seed, winning a national championship. Let's pause 10 seconds for our network station identification. This is Bobcat Football. XL Country, 100.7. KXLB Churchill, Bozeman, Belgrade. Also in Livingston, on translator K254AL. I'm Keaton Gologly alongside RJ Fitzgerald. Dan Davies is our man on the sideline, and Dylan McPhail is up here with us. Jesse Ropolato is down in the studio. We'll take a break. Bobcats suffer a heartbreaking loss at number one, South Dakota State. They lose tonight 20-16 to in a game we'll be talking about for years. You're listening to Bobcat Football, presented by Learfield. Whoever said... Good things come to those who wait. Clearly never ordered in the McDonald's app. Just order ahead in the app, and you can pick up when you get here. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Now football fans can score big, because on game day, get a 20-piece Chicken McNuggets for just $5 when you order ahead on the app. Now that's a W. Valid once per day through December 1st, 2023. I participate in McDonald's. Must opt into rewards. Montana Farm Bureau. We are the farmers and ranchers who raise the juicy beef on your tailgate grill, who grow the wheat for your fresh burger bun, and who harvest the barley for the cold beer in your bobcat koozie. We are the grassroots voice of agriculture, advocating for farmers and ranchers across our state. Farm Bureau is leading Montana toward a future with a prosperous agriculture economy and thriving rural communities. Join Montana Farm Bureau at mfbf.org and go Bobcats. 
Bobcat football is finally here, and the Ridge Athletic Clubs are ready for a great season at the Ridge. We offer a beautiful facility with a basketball complex, group exercise studios with over 200 weekly classes, a pool, safe and fun child care, new functional fitness spaces, large comfortable locker rooms, and the best way in Bozeman to bring your fitness to the next level. Stop by for a tour after a game and see why the Ridge has been Bozeman strong for more than 20 years. Go Bobcats! Hello, tomorrow. We may not know exactly what you've got in store for us, for our routines and our normals. But here's the thing. Turns out, we've got this. We haven't seen everything, but we have seen ourselves be more ready for whatever you bring than we thought we would be. So when it comes to tomorrow, bring on the day. First Interstate, built for you. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Visit us at firstinterstate.com. Montana holds some of the greatest hunting in the country, and much of that occurs on private land. Access to private land is a key part of hunting and wildlife management, but that access is at risk with every gate left open, piece of litter left behind, or torn up ag field from someone driving where they weren't allowed. As hunters and guests in Montana, we must do better. Get familiar with Montana's block management program and follow the rules for every block management area you hunt, because we either do better or we'll lose access. It's that simple. It's up to us. Respect access. Protect the hunt. World-class physicians, patient care that's second to none, the most advanced technology available. With a scorecard like that, you can trust Vance Thompson Vision to provide you with the best possible options for your vision. From LASIK to cataracts to everything in between, our surgeons and their teams root for their patients with as much dedication as diehard fans do for their favorite teams. Request your laser vision consultation from the official LASIK and cataract surgeon of the Bobcats. Visit VanceThompsonVision.com. Did you know that Tire Rama is home with a free oil change? When you buy three oil changes, the fourth one is on us. That's right. Buy three, get one absolutely 100% completely free. No catch, no exceptions, just free. Plus, we only use top quality products like Sitco to help extend your vehicle's engine life. Tire Rama's got you covered. Find your neighborhood Tire Rama and schedule your oil change appointment at tirerama.com. Tire Rama, more than just a tire store. Bobcat football has been brought to you by Town Pump, the exclusive sponsor of the Brawl of the Wild, and by DoorTech. DoorTech is raising the door on quality. This is Bobcat Post Game. Bobcats fall 20 to 16. Let's go down to the sidelines. Dan Davies with head coach Brent Vegan. We're here with Coach Vegan. Uh, a, a classic matchup. There's no, no doubt about it. The game could have went either way. Uh, a lot of different things happened throughout the ball game. Your thoughts here immediately? Well, disappointment. I think our guys really played hard. Um, they, they went after it today, you know, but there's enough plays in that game. I know we'll look at that uh, opportunities that we had, um, you know, if you capitalize it, that doesn't come down to that at the end. Um, it, it's certainly not about those those couple plays at the end, but, you know, uh, I love the way our guys competed, um, you know, and it's a, it's a long season. This This game uh, isn't, wasn't going to make us, and it's it's not going to break us at the same time. We got to come back uh, and get back to work, and, and you know keep keep trying to get better. Um, I, I'm certain there's going to be a lot of things in that game that we could have done better. Yeah, uncharacteristic penalties uh, for for a couple of different guys, some of your leaders and stuff. That's uh, that's got to be disappointing. Yeah, you know you, you're playing in a hostile environment here where um, their crowd was a factor um, tonight, um, no question about it, and. You know our ability to to focus and eliminate those those errors just just didn't happen. Uh, so yeah, I think it's you know there, there's plenty of things like I said that we we can fix, um, need to fix. Um, but I'll, I'll take this team, you know, against anybody. You know our, our effort and res some resilience at the same time. Um, you know what was there and just uh, fell short. And any update on injuries too early? This Tommy was out wasn't out there in the last. Uh second half yeah he wasn't able to finish the game I don't think it'll be anything a long term um, but he certainly wasn't able to go out and be the the player he's capable of and um, you know that's the that's the the nature of it when we do the, some of the things we do but um, you know we got to be able to to move, move the ball without him and he did a little bit but uh, obviously didn't quite uh, get her done on the positive side, though, special teams really came through today. You had a lot of big special team plays. Yeah, I felt like if we could, we could win the, the special team side of things, that would be a, an edge, and we, I think we absolutely did that. Uh, Brennan Hall was a factor today. 
Um, when you block a punt down, you get the ball inside the one, um, and all you get out of is a field goal. Um, you know, those are the things you, you certainly kick yourself about. And um, but yes, yeah, special teams. Uh, you know, we got a real weapon in every which way in, in Brendan, and um, you know, glad he's he's wearing a blue and gold. And a good special or a good kickoff return by Marquis. Yeah, yeah, uh, that was <laughs> right timing for that. Uh, he's obviously a, a weapon and is explosive back there. Uh, so yeah, I, you know, um, those plays generally are, are ones that are, that are game breakers for you. And and while we were we were close, it uh, didn't get us over the top. Well, heck of an effort by your team. Uh, regroup. Be back next week at Bobcat Stadium. Yeah, absolutely. I, I hope uh, this is an effort. You know, our our fans were proud of, but uh, you know, we're after we're after more. Um, coming up close was not what we were after tonight, and we'll come back strong next week. All right. Appreciate your time, Coach. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Go Cats. Go Cats. All right, that was Dan Davies and head coach Brent Vegan. Uh, pointed words by, by coach. I think he really kind of matched the moment there, RJ. I mean, obviously such a high high there for a moment with a touchdown you thought won the game. It was an unsportsmanlike conduct enforced on Montana State that bumped him back from the 24-yard line back to the 39-yard line, which obviously made a major difference on that final play with one second left. But like Coach Vegan said, it doesn't make or break your season. There were cer certainly some mistakes. It shouldn't have really even been that close at the end. But, man, overall, just what an incredibly impressive game. Bobcat Nation could certainly be proud of the effort. Yeah, tough way to lose a football game. But, you know, once again, as Coach Vegan said, it didn't come down to those last two plays. It, it really was those two times when the Bobcats had the ball at the one and two yard line and they didn't punch it in for seven points. They put threes up on the board instead of seven. And when you're at the number one team in the country's house, you got to score touchdowns and not field goals if you're going to beat them. This is the Ribbon Chop House post-game show presented by Montana's Ribbon Chop House. All right, we got plenty more to get to. We'll get you some highlights, get you some scores. We'll chat with Dan Davies as well. But in the end, the Bobcats fall to 1-1, one and one, and the number one Jackrabbits improve their winning streak to 16 straight. They've got their toughest games of the year all at home, including this one. They've got Northern Iowa at home, and they've got NDSU at home, a team that they've beaten now four consecutive times. So they have a pretty clear path here to kind of start setting up the next generation of a dynasty in FCS. Bobcats nearly took them down, but today was not the day, and you wonder if there's another chance coming up in a few months. But for now, we'll take a break. Plenty more to talk about Cats fall 20-16 to against South Dakota State. You're listening to Bobcat Football, presented by Learfield. From ATVs to heavy RVs, the 2023 Chevy Silverado provides everything you need for a long day of towing. With proven technologies like trailer sway control, hill start assist, and auto grade braking. You'll also get the capability to work smarter, not harder, with the available multi-flex tailgate. Offering six different functions to help improve loading, unloading, and accessing the cargo bed. Check out the legendary Silverado at your Montana Chevy dealers. Proud sponsors of your Montana State Bobcats. When garage door issues happen, don't just call anybody. Call the pros at DoorTech. Our family-owned and operated business happily serves the Gallatin Valley. We install and service residential, commercial, and custom overhead doors and operators. With factory-trained and certified technicians, we're committed to quality, value, and long-term relationships. Call us at 582-1623 and let us help you with the solution to all your garage door needs. DoorTech is raising the door on quality. Your region's only premier authorized Rainer dealer. Ready to build your brand? Think Inc. outside the box for your complete branding solutions. Located in Bozeman, Montana, we offer a full print shop for banners, signs, wraps, trade show booths and graphics, promotional products, and much more. If you can think it, we can ink it. We are a proud supporter and corporate sponsor of the MSU Bobcats. Like us on Facebook to see some of our cat wraps. Ready to build your brand? Think Inc. and call us at 406-922-6462 or visit us on the web at inkoutside.com. The Gallatin Valley is thriving, and Bozeman is not only a destination for families to live, work, and play, it's also a destination for businesses. The Bozeman Area Chamber of Commerce is a great way to get involved in Bozeman's thriving business community. The Bozeman Chamber Economic Partnership assists existing businesses through expansion, grows new companies in our community, and attracts fresh opportunities for Gallatin County. Bozeman, our community, a jewel among the Northern Rockies. For more information, go to bozemanchamber.com. Back on the Ribbon Chop House post-game show, Bobcats falling today 20-16 to against South Dakota State. Indulging in exceptional experiences at Montana's Ribbon Chop House, our passionate team sets the bar high, serving premium steaks, fresh seafood, and award-winning baby back ribs. Embrace our warm Rocky Mountain hospitality as we eagerly anticipate welcoming you. 
quickly take a look at the drive of the game presented by Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Billings. Going back to a little earlier in the ball game, Montana State was able to convert a fumble recovery into a touchdown early or late in the first quarter. Sean Chambers capped it with a two-yard rushing touchdown. He went 10 plays, 57 uh, yards, over five minutes, 28 seconds, and uh, that was the uh, drive of the game presented by Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge. Really for Montana State, the story of this game, 12 penalties, 80 yards. It pulled a one touchdown off the board for sure and uh, really kind of got things going in the wrong direction multiple times. Could have been able to uh, dive in a couple of scores late in this game had they not had some of those penalties. Yeah, there was a false start there when they settled for that field goal where Sean Chambers ended up in the end zone on the play on that, uh, on that fourth down play, but they had to call that one off with the offside. So that's what's really going to, be uh, be on the highlight reels the rest of this week. All those penalties for Montana State, unfortunately. Tommy Willott injured. Sounds like it's not too serious. I'd probably at this point be surprised if he played at Stetson next week. Give him that extra week. And then with Weber on the road after that. This was your toughest road test outside of really going to that other town over the hill in Missoula. But this was as tough as it's going to get for Montana State. Idaho is going to be a test. Obviously, Weber State is tremendous. Sac State is tremendous. But this atmosphere, everything on the line today, this was... Uh, Man, this was a great day for uh, for football. Really, the only black mark outside of all of that was the unsportsmanlike conduct enforced on Montana State after they thought they had won the game with zeros on the clock and what we have believed to be an excessive penalty or excessive celebration penalty on Montana State backed them up uh, to the 39-yard line from the 24-yard line with one second on the clock and did not get the opportunity uh, from the 24-yard line. That kind of threw things off at the end there. But a valiant effort by Montana State. They fall to 1-1, and one, South Dakota State to 2-0. and oh. All right, plenty more to come on the Ribbon Chop House postgame show. Bobcats fall 20-16 to 16 against number one, South Dakota State. You're listening to Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. No matter how far you may go, there's always one just down the road. Down the pump it up. Town of Pump is excited to once again sponsor the Brawl of the Wild Rivalry Series between Montana State and the University of Montana. Look for special Brawl of the Wild promotions throughout the year at your local Town Pump. Are you looking for a rewarding career right here in Montana? Applied Materials is located in Kalispell, Montana, and is hiring for engineering and manufacturing roles. The leader in materials engineering solutions used to produce virtually every new chip and advanced display in the world. Applied Materials offers top-notch wages and full benefits on day one. Go to AppliedMaterials.com careers and search for the jobs by location to find your next career with Applied Materials. Our innovations make possible a better future. Equal opportunity employer. You already do so much. How about doing less and earning more? Rewards checking from Valley Credit Union lets you do just that. Earn 2.50% APY with no minimum balance, no service fees, and refunds up to $360 per year on ATM fees nationwide. Less hassle, more moolah. Visit valleyfcu.com to open an account online. Rewards checking from Valley Credit Union. Do less, earn more. APY equals annual percentage yield federally insured by the NCUA. Certain restrictions may apply. At Montana's Rib and Chop House, our guests and service are our top priorities. We've been serving Rocky Mountain community signature steaks, delicious seafood, and award-winning baby back ribs for over 20 years. Whether you're celebrating an important milestone, want to watch a big game, or just grab lunch with friends, we're your local spot that feels like home. We have locations in Bozeman, Billings, Butte, and Livingston, so you can enjoy Rib and Chop House across Montana. We look forward to sharing a little Rocky Mountain hospitality with you soon. As a Montana parent, I want to be at my best for my child. I've learned that if I want to be at my best, then I need to take care of myself. ParentingMontana.org has podcast episodes about taking care of my own health and well-being, improving my relationship with my parenting partner, and supporting my child's physical and mental health. I found the podcast to be informative, relatable, and I can tune in whenever I have time. ParentingMontana.org, tools for your child's success. Brought to you by SAMHSA and Montana DPHHS. For all of your tree and lawn care needs, turn to Arbor Medic Tree and Lawn Care, a proud sponsor of MSU Athletics. Arbor Medic Tree and Lawn Care provides outstanding service for your landscape for pruning, removals, stump grinding, tree moving, plant health care, and all of your landscaping maintenance needs. Check out Arbor Medic Tree and Lawn Care. 
Wade Dooley Certified Arborist. Back of the Ribbon Chop House postgame show, Montana State falling at number one, South Dakota State 20-16. to 16. Let's take a quick look at some of the other Big Sky scores from today, some of the finals. San Jose State defeats Cal Poly 59-3, to Wyoming over Portland State 31-17, North Dakota over Northern Arizona 37-22, Incarnate Word over Northern Colorado 42-7, Northern Colorado got a touchdown in the fourth. Weber State comes from behind and defeats Northern Iowa 34-17. Idaho over Nevada 33-16. And uh, those are all the games that have gone final. Right now, Sac State with a 10-0 lead over Texas A&M Commerce. That game late in the first quarter. Utah Tech trailing Montana 36-0 right now. That's late in the second quarter. Uh, Fresno State leading Eastern Washington 14-3 in the second. UC Davis trailing Oregon State 35-0. And Idaho State down 65-21 in the fourth quarter against uh, Utah State. All right, we'll take another break on the Ribbon Chop House postgame show. Bobcats fall today 20-16 to against South Dakota State. You're listening to Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. Did you know that Southwest Montana has one of the highest per capita hot tub usage rates in the world? See what your friends and neighbors already know. How great it feels to soak under the big sky. Mountain Hot Tub has helped more friends and families relax in hot water than anyone in Montana. New hot tubs starting at less than $5,000. When you're ready to relieve stress and save money at the same time, come see us at the corner of Huffine and Gooch Hill. Mountain Hot Tub, since 1979. When garage door issues happen, don't just call anybody. Call the pros at DoorTech. Our family-owned and operated business happily serves the Gallatin Valley. We install and service residential, commercial, and custom overhead doors and operators. With factory-trained and certified technicians, we're committed to quality, value, and long-term relationships. Call us at 582-1623 and let us help you with the solution to all your garage door needs. DoorTech is raising the door on quality. Your region's only premier authorized Rainer dealer. At Firehouse Subs, a portion of every purchase helps provide much-needed life-saving equipment to first responders across the country. That's why at Firehouse Subs, they make their subs differently, because their subs can make a difference. Their family of restaurant owners and local crews are proud to continue to serve you the hot, hearty, life-saving subs you crave every day. In fact, it's never been easier to grab their subs to go with Rapid Rescue to go. Save time when you order online at firehousesubs.com or on their app. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. It's the season of home improvement, and Williams Plumbing will help you tackle the big stuff. Are old roots clogging your sewer line? Williams has the tools to fix it. Have you checked your septic system lately? We have the knowledge and experience to maintain or repair it. Looking to install a yard hydrant? We'll do it promptly and professionally. Don't sweat the big stuff. Call Williams Plumbing today. Back at the Raymond Chap House postgame show, Montana State falling today 20-16, to 16, uh, coming up short in what was a memorable game. If you're looking for more college football action following our broadcast, you can check out the College Football Blitz for free by going to the Varsity Network app. It's college football audio version of the NFL Red Zone channel every Saturday from noon to midway, midnight Eastern. Just search for the College Football Blitz on the Varsity Network app. Well, RJ, uh, with the Cats falling 20-16 to 16 today against South Dakota State, I mean, really, it comes down to the false starts. That was really the biggest part of this game. That cost the Bobcats an opportunity to punch that ball into the end zone multiple times. As you look forward, how is that How is that something you can clean up? Yeah, you know, it's one of those type of deals. The Bobcats, we've been lucky enough to, to play a lot of um, a lot of big atmospheres at home, so the crowd doesn't really affect the offense that much. Usually we're benefiting from the, from the false starts. Really, the last time there was a big time crowd was at Montana two years ago so this is the first time a lot of these guys have faced this type of atmosphere and it's just something that you got to improve on you got to be disciplined and it's something they'll clean up well if they have cleaned that up then uh, really the sky's the limit and the defense tonight I mean to hold the Jacks to 20 points the way they did really it was only the third quarter that South Dakota State was able to get some stuff other than that the defense was really good tonight yeah, that was a really positive sign compared to last year's performance when, you know, the Jackrabbits were kind of doing whatever they wanted to do offensively in terms of running the football. You know, it was a really good step forward for the Bobcat defense, and they're going to have to come up huge 
throughout the season because there's some prolific offenses in the Big Sky Conference, as you know. All right, we'll take another break of the Ribbon Chop House postgame show. We still owe you stats. We still owe you highlights, and we'll still owe you a conversation with Dan Davies. Cats fall 20-16 to 16 against South Dakota State. This is Bobcat Football presented by Learfield. Hello, this is Bill Coffey, CEO of Stockman Bank. We are a Montana-born company, family-owned, and uniquely focused on meeting the financial needs of all Montanans. As we celebrate our 70th anniversary, we remain independent and committed to traditional Western values with the power of local management and decision-making and homegrown community service. Stop by any of our locations across Montana and discover the Stockman difference. Stockman Bank, Montana's brand of banking member, FDIC. The Ribbon Chop House was founded in 2001. Our ability to grow has come through our commitment to Rocky Mountain Hospitality, a concept which incorporates a casual attitude with our high-level commitment to loyalty, safety, service, and quality food. At the Ribbon Chop House, our staff is dedicated to creating extraordinary experiences that raise the bar in each of our communities. Enjoy premium steaks, fresh seafood, and award-winning baby back ribs. We look forward to sharing a little Rocky Mountain Hospitality with you. With friendly customer service and an outstanding location near Montana State University in the base of the Bridger Mountain Range, Country Inn & Suites by Radisson is the perfect place to begin your Bozeman adventure. Country Inn & Suites offers a hot and delicious Be Our Guest breakfast buffet each morning. Free Wi-Fi is available throughout the property, and we have a business center and meeting rooms. Our indoor pool and hot tub is a great way to relax after a day of fun, and the on-site fitness center will keep your workout goals on track. We have spacious King and Double Queen Suites with a full-size sleeper sofa available, and every room in Country Inn & Suites is smoke-free. Reserve your room today. World-class physicians, patient care that's second to none, the most advanced technology available. With a scorecard like that, you can trust Vance Thompson Vision to provide you with the best possible options for your vision. From LASIK to cataracts to everything in between, our surgeons and their teams root for their patients with as much dedication as diehard fans do for their favorite teams. Request your laser vision consultation from the official LASIK and cataract surgeon of the Bobcats. Visit VanceThompsonVision.com. Universal Athletic has been a proud supporter of Bobcat Athletics for over 45 years. Check out their great selection of Bobcat apparel and accessories for all your game day needs. Shop in store at their North 7th Avenue location or online at shop.msubobcats.com for everything you need to cheer on your Bobcats. Universal Athletic, a proud supporter of Bobcat Athletics for over 45 years. Go Cats! At Levitt Group Insurance, we believe that hard work, dedication, and teamwork are the keys to success. Levitt Group Insurance is proud to present the weekly Bobcat Impact Player of the Game. Each week, a player will be selected because they've proven that they have what it takes to be a game changer. Levitt Group Insurance will always work hard and change your insurance program to fit your needs to be a game changer for your business. To see how we can help you with your business, employee benefits, home and auto insurance, contact a Levitt Group Insurance office near you. Levitt Group Insurance, leaving nothing you value to chance. I don't know if they're bringing any. Back on the postgame show, brought to you by Ribbon Chop House. I'm Keaton Glogley alongside R.J. Fitzgerald. Dan Davies has made his way up to the booth as the Bobcats fall today 20-16. to 16. And, uh, Dan, what an incredible football game today. Just help us describe some of the emotion on the sideline with the apparent game-winning touchdown catch. That comes back, an unsportsmanlike penalty bumps the Cats back. It's just the ebb and the flow, and Montana State falls by four. Yeah, it, it was you know, immediate elation first, you know, because no, no one could believe it. Then it was kind of a pause, like, you know, did that really happen or what are we doing? And and then, of course, they showed the thing on the video, and that that influenced a lot of things, I'm sure. However, uh, nonetheless, I mean, had the game won, didn't have it win. But as Coach Wiegand said in, in his press conference, left a lot of points on the board, too many mistakes, too many penalties, and uh, certainly had every opportunity to win that football game. Well, and that final penalty at the end, too, bumping Montana State back to the 39-yard line from the 24-yard line certainly hurt hurt that opportunity at the end, too. Yeah, I, I, I was told it was a sideline um, personal foul, or not a personal foul, but a, a unsportsmanlike conduct uh, on the sideline. And uh, you're right, Keaton, that, that set um, the task a lot uh, taller to, to accomplish that and get have to get in the end zone. But uh, on before uh, you know, after all of that, when you just look at the way this game played out, the Bobcat defense today, they were really good for three out of those four quarters. There were some big plays, obviously, in that third quarter, but that was a different defensive matchup for Montana State today than it was in December. Yeah, and they had ten guys that they brought back from last year, 
And so that's a credit to this Bobcat defense. Uh, they, they bent there a few times, and unfortunately, uh, that two-play drive in, in, late in the fourth quarter was, was a backbreaker. However, uh, for the rest of the time, they got the offense, the ball back in numerous times. And uh, as Coach Vegan talked about, the special teams, they, they starred today. It was, it was a big, big deal for the special teams. Yeah, Brendan Hall was big time in this one. Yeah, he's going to be a weapon all season long. He's a guy that he really takes that return game out of it. And as we know, in the Big Sky Conference, there's a lot of really good returners. South Dakota State has had some very big returns against the Cats in the past. So, And for him to be able to show that he can punt the football, pin him inside the 10, and that's huge for that defense. Gives them some confidence. Yeah, had two backed up, you know, inside the ten yard line. One in the first half, and then one in the second half. That was huge. And then, of course, making an extra point or making the field goals, you can't take those for granted. And uh, it takes eleven guys to make that field goal, but ultimately, that guy's got to kick it through. Right. And how big was that miss point after that South Dakota State had? We could see it on display right there. Uh, but mentally, after a game like this with Stetson up next week and then Big Sky play starts, but, I mean, just what's it going to be like mentally for these guys to try to bounce back and keep everybody focused after a, just a, an incredibly emotional game like tonight? Yeah, it's going to take a minute, uh, right, RJ? I mean, this, this thing's going to sting for a while, and you've got to get home, and you're you're a little bit more sore after a loss than you are a win, and, yeah, it's going to take some time, but uh, get back late, early this morning sometime or next tomorrow morning and, uh, you know, watch the film and put it behind, right? Got to flush it. Yeah, you got to take 24 hours. You got to you got to watch this film, too. You got to take it, take it to heart because this is the type of game that you're going to learn so much from. You know, you watch that Utah Tech game over. Really, you're kind of doing whatever you want offensively, defensively if you're the Bobcats. But this football game, there's going to be some things to clean up, some penalties to clean up. But, yes, you got to take this loss and, okay, yeah, we lost the football game. But you also got to be confident. You just came into the number one team in the country's house and you had a chance to win the football game. That's all you can ask for. Right. And it wasn't fluky. I mean, they went toe-to-toe. It wasn't like South Dakota State was making all these major mistakes. I mean, they were at their best with all of their weapons. There was no excuses on either side in this game. Obviously, Malak got hurt in that second half. But outside of that, I mean, there weren't a lot of excuses in this game. These were two teams fully locked and loaded. Yeah, and you, you got to th- you know, give – credit to Sean Chambers too that came in there I mean he, he's not used to you know being an everyday every down quarterback and he stepped up there's a couple things he would like to do over I guarantee you that but man he got the Bobcats in position to win this football game incredible ball game all right well we'll take our final break get you some highlights after this Dan thank you let's uh, get ourselves packed up and flying home soon sounds good all right Bobcats fall today 20 to 16 more of the Raven Chop House post game show after this you're listening to Bobcat football presented by Learfield Hello, tomorrow. We may not know exactly what you've got in store for us, for our routines and our normals. But here's the thing. Turns out, we've got this. We haven't seen everything, but we have seen ourselves be more ready for whatever you bring than we thought we would be. 